There you go. Honestly. Yeah, much love. But yeah, thank you, thank you so much for having me. It was really nice surprise to be able to join, to, to, yes. to be able to paint it, and yeah, it's for me. It's like a new journey ahead with the traditional art for illustration. I think so. It's a very important moment for me as well. You know. Yeah, one hundred percent. Thank you so much. <laughs> Right. All right, thank love. you so much. And <laughs> yeah, nice. nice. Is it evening already at your It's place? five o'clock in the afternoon, five five in yeah. the evening in my time. And I've got um some folks uh, who are about to jump on. It's eight o'clock mm. their time on the east coast. So yeah, it's uh, but it's one in the morning your time. So uh, yeah. yeah, worldwide, stranger con worldwide. So yeah, I appreciate it, love. Yeah, enjoy the rest of the stream and well, nice. see you soon. I hope. See you soon. Yes. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. All righty. Um, huge thank you to Iga. She absolutely, I mean, crazy, crazy, crazy. She, uh, what a beautiful homage to my mom um, for, the, for this new issue. It's such a, um, a family affair here at Stranger Comics. Um, just uh, super appreciate it. Um, so, guys, without um, they were waiting in the chat, and they these guys. So, these guys are the Black Comic Lords. I feel like I want to kind of like add some base to that shit. The Black Comic Lords. They have this amazing stream. We actually quoted them on the on our new trade trade. They they have a great quote for us. It's on the new trade paperback. They were gracious enough for, to let me jump into one of their streams a couple of nights ago to promote this shit. And they had me on as a guest um, about seven years ago and they forgot about me. And then they were like, oh, that guy. So here they are again, the Black Comic Lords. Um, they're absolutely amazing. Um, we want to do an exclusive with them. And they are extremely important for the, for the community um, that we so love and cherish. And uh, here they are. We'll bring them on in order of beauty. Um, <laughs> um and uh how are you guys doing wait was i last <laughs> too bad paul too bad <laughs> i guess um middle's better than last paul you guys you guys can be beautiful i'll be i'll be handsome that's funny <laughs> wow how are you hey, guys doing great thank doing you great. guys thank you so much for, for jumping on and folks on instagram mr good, good. we have a fan called mr marcus let me test your knowledge on uh on that name you have a fan what his name is mr marcus mr marcus sounds like a um no, that's not i i i yeah okay good okay if somebody knows if somebody in the rest don't want to know okay perfect well, different spelling different spelling well, um, wow. yes so a different person but if you right. uh, ever remember uh some very very classic movies um yeah Manitou. from the, the, the 90s very 90s very 90s 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 the yeah, 90s. 70s was super fly the 90s was super something else but uh we digress and we'll talk about comic books um wow that just happened so, um so yeah, it's getting late you know been up since uh three days ago and uh and here we are um so folks if you're on instagram come to uh, come to the stream on the youtube streamers and thank you so much for streaming to the the black comic lords out there um how's uh how's it going guys how's your how's your saturday been doing great doing great uh, so been able to watch so a good. good portion of this of your uh, live too uh, oh you have yeah. yeah yeah so uh you got some dope stuff you're putting out there and then regular drops too so hopefully everybody in the chat's uh, taking advantage of these opportunities yeah i've been i'm on your kickstarter page i'm trying to figure out how to like bundle stuff together it's kind of okay so that, so that's a great that's a great thing so um welcome to the uh all the lovely folks that are joining from the black comic lords crew uh thank you so much for stitching in all your all your crew what i think i can do bro is i can um do a shared screen and then maybe scroll down and see see uh give you some uh, some information also for some of the folks that are joining so a lot of times what people do is this, they'll pick a reward and then I'll want to do an ad pledge. They want to add to their pledge. Right. Um, what I should be doing if I was smart is create a dummy account to actually do a walkthrough of that. Um, I wonder if I could have Josh come on and do that, but it should be pretty easy. They try, they try to make it easy. So we'll do this. We'll do 
shared screen and we'll jump over the Kickstarter. Um, this is so far our second most first day, uh, the first, most successful first day we were dead, we did 50 and the second one we did 40. So we're, we have a chance to really, you know, come in a strong second place for our most successful Kickstarter campaign. So please keep uh, sharing it, uh, be a part of this stuff. And today, back in on day one, you get all sorts of bonus stuff. So if you scroll down, right, uh, let's say we scroll down on the reward side. And okay. um, my recommendation is picking up, well, let's look at this. There's early bird rewards. The early birds give you guys an opportunity to essentially get a level with um, new stuff, but on discount and some rare exclusivity type things. Um, so if you're looking for some of the new stuff, you say, hey, I already got everything. That's a great one to get. So what you would do is you would scroll, let's say, to 23E, just as an example. And you would hit the um, early bird reward level. Now, there are four different early bird rewards, depending on whether you like the upgraded versions with the inks and the David Max and the metals and so on. The, the higher the level, the more export expensive the early bird is. You'll pick your level. You'll click on the, the pledge. Once you've clicked on the pledge, it will take you to another section after you make your choice. You'll scroll down, and then you can literally add on any other reward or any other items. So you're like, oh, you know what? I like these five rewards. I want to get all of them. You pick one, and then you'll start to do, do an add pledge. Now, we did a video, which is down here. We've got to bring some of the stuff up so it's easy to... I don't know if it... Josh might have done some more stuff. This is an old link. I don't want to refresh. Where is it? I've gone past it. There's a there's a there's a YouTube tutorial on how to pledge and then do add-ons. Ah, okay. So that'll help. But once you pick a reward, um, you should be able to um, then add pledge. Now, what? Yeah, I, what I could possibly do is um, it's up at the top. Okay. So what's up, Lily? We are um, in the chat with the Black Comic Lords. And the other day we talked about potentially doing a Black Comic Lords exclusive for their crew, which would be great for a new Nibishir's death. Um, Speaking of exclusives, Josh just mentioned. Yeah. If we, if, if we gave DUIC idea of doing a, a metal menu list of, of the eager cover. Okay, if so we if we hit 50 grand. grand. Okay, that's that would be... So the Black Comic Lords have to bring 10 grand in the next hour or two. Uh -oh. they, they wow. got it. They're, they're lords. They're lords. They have estates, you know. Um, so we do metal with my mom. I get you. So by the end of today. Okay, by 12 o'clock midnight. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, let's start, let's start sharing this video. So, so if you want to do a – yeah, please spread the word. Absolutely. Okay, the share just went out. I got it, Paul. Amazing. Amazing. And um, if we are dropping this, I mean, we dropped this on the stream the other night as people come in. Um, we will. Would you, seeing kind of the stuff that we do and the new stuff that we have with the Niobe She tribe of Tuso? Would you think that would be a great one to start with for the new for a Black Comic Lords exclusive? Which which cover are we talking about? Well, I'm sorry, I was on another oh, screen. I'm I'm sharing. Are you I'm, sharing? I'm you're doing, share away. <laughs> wow. So this would this would be a this would be a new cover. Yeah, it would be a new yeah. cover. Yes, yeah. a new one. Yep. All right, mm -hmm. exactly. Black exactly. Comic Lords exclusive. What what would we like on a black comic lords exclusive cover? And wow. and yeah, yeah. So a lot so you've got obviously what we did earlier, we did this uh we're doing this new um producing a movie with Legion M. We did a I just did a shaft exclusive which dropped for Defiant Issue One with Ray Height with Sean Damien Hill doing interiors. That's the go. story of the um Robert Smalls, right? Correct, yes. That's dope. I, I need to get that. So Gotta this hurry. is on the Kickstarter. Yeah, but it's limited, right? Limited to one hundred copies. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get that. I got to get that. So, yeah, this is a limited 100 copies, the Shaft Homage. Um, back in the Kickstarter on day one, you guys are going to get this for free, just for backing it, the Black on nice. Yellow Woo Homage. Blood that yellow. And uh, yeah. if you want to get crazy, the metal editions, I don't know how much you want to you want to spend, but usually our silver metals go for 100 to 150. Our golds usually go from 300 to 500. Mm. What we did was we did an exclusive silver baller bundle set for eight silvers for 500. We've got um, the Ivan Tower joints, which are which are ridiculous in a. Let me. Uh, I'll just do this real quick. <clears throat> there you go. Yeah. So that's, that's the nice. Navy She Tribe. This one right here, the one with two so. Kane and White did the interiors. And then you've got the disciple on the other side. And that girl in the background is one of Nivey's disciples from Nivey Shear's life. So the word of Nivey's gospel spreads. So that's the Ivan Tau sets right there. Those are on the kit. Those are on the uh, early birds. I may have already uh, pledged uh, with to get the wraparound medal. I may. Oh, have. shit. Amazing. But thank, thank you. The wraparound wow. metal is... Even when we're not on our own channel, Derek <laughs> is still flexing. Yeah, that's, that, that's that's what I want to get right there. Yeah. So, you, so guys, this is... Um, if you go to the... There's a silver metal level. Go to the silver metal level. I think it's reward 29. Yeah, and this will be 100 bucks. And you get the silver metal wraparound of this. Reward 29. So let's, Re let's go check that out. Reward 29. And you can... Once you click that, if you say, "Hey, I want to also get," let's say, "I want to, I want the far out hollow foil one." You, okay, you could be able to also add that as well. You that there's also a metal version of the far as well, which is um, also pretty amazing. So the foil is fifty, the metal is a hundred. But look at that! Very nice. Very ill. Very ill. So all these, um, so folks that are coming in for the Black Comic Lords, basically my name's Seb and I run Stranger Comics and we're mostly known for um, Niobe and the World of Asunder. We're mostly known while the guys are looking at um, all the rewards they're getting on our new Kickstarter. We're mostly known for doing all these amazing comics, trade paperbacks, hardcovers, special edition hardcovers, um, all the things, guys. We have all the things. So if you can say, hey, I want to read everything. I'm not a collector, but I want to read. I want to binge read everything. There's a binge reward level as well. Big discounts to read everything. The real trick is if you say, yeah, I want to get that wraparound metal, but I also want to get this metal or you prefer the foil instead, you start adding. Well, after you hit your pledge, you start adding. Now, one set that's been really like flying is the Tahani Far silver metal set and i'll show it to you it's ridiculous so you would literally get the these two silvers of niobe and nadami wow and well, now they're paper edition far out collector sets as well so but the if you want to get the silvers while they're on discount the set is four silver metals for 297 it should be 600 dollars, but i'm taking 303 off so you get all plus, these bad things, but, oh, that's fucking amazing. And that means plus you'd also get the other uh some other free stuff too, including uh metal out of the vault, right? You also get these two. Yes, you do exactly. I've got upsells as well. The Tahani metals will also come with the look at how beautiful those are. How crazy is that? So that's a Tahani fast silver metal set. Silver metal cover. Now, if you spend um to Derek's note, if you spend before I put everything down, Jesus. Oh, here we are. If you spend twenty-five dollars with me, just twenty-five bucks for the Black Comic Lords that are here. Twenty-five bucks on the Kickstarter. I'm going to give you this as a gift for free. This is because you're on StrangerCon. You're going to get this art print as a gift for fee for spending twenty-five bucks, just for free. If you spend fifty, you're going to get that for free, and you're also going to get a free comic. Of the Untamed Still a Fool issue one, Ooh. the Aaliyah Will joint by Francis Francois. 
Fiona Francois, sorry, you get that. If you spend a hundred dollars, I'm going to give you both Akira art print sets, this one and the Virgin for free for a hundred dollars. You get all of these things, all of them. That's, if you spend three hundred dollars, wow. I'm going to throw in a sketch by Daryl May that might look something like this. Oh, an original. If you spend three hundred dollars, you're going to get an original by one of the founders of Stranger Comics. And if you spend five hundred dollars, that's why it's good to get the metals. You know what I'm going to do for you guys? I'm going to hook you up with. 2009 first printing of the untamed first appearance of Niobe. Mm. So the more money you spend because you're on stranger con, the more stuff I'm going to gift you on the Kickstarter. Just for, just for spending more shit. <laughs> in addition to the woo homage, in addition to the Akira homage, in addition to all those other homages, my whole goal is to make sure I hook you guys up with as much really cool stuff as possible on this first day. And there's some codes as well that uh, we can use in the... Correct. Yes. Yeah. There's one code now. It's the TYSC. So thank you. If you want to get... If you back the Kickstarter first, because that would be fab, then go to strangercomics.com. You'll, you'll see the exclusives for these two Akira joints. They should be still up and put in a discount code, get them separately. You have to do this one separately from this one, put in a discount code that is scrolling along the ticker down below. And that's on the website, strangercomics.com. But there's also on the Kickstarter itself, metal Akira's all sorts of wonderful other things. So yeah, a lot of stuff to digest and dive into. Thank you, Royal. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's up, everybody that's joining, uh, courtesy of uh, Black Comic Lords? Jump over to the Kickstarter, guys. We are smashing stretch goals as well. So the more stretch goals down, the more stuff you guys get to. Um, we are at the $40,000 mark. So, Josh, if you want to update the stretch goal banner, if you're in the chat, um, unless you have already, I just need to hit refresh, maybe. Let's see... I'm just going to hit refresh. Josh is the man in the chair. There it is. All right. You get an, all sorts of other stuff because we're at the $40,000 mark. $50,000, if we hit it tonight, we're going to throw in some exclusive. Thank you, Josh. Some exclusive metals as well. What's up, Malverde Designs on Instagram? We're still over here on YouTube. And also in the add-on section, guys, you can get... These beautiful uh, comic holders as well. So more wonderful things as well that are on as cool merch add-on items. So while the Lords are looking. Yeah, I'm please, shopping right now. Sorry, I don't mean to be surprised. Please, no, shop, please shop. Please shop. <laughs> while the, uh, you know, three lords are leaping. I'm gonna um yeah. I'm gonna give you guys an opportunity in the chat, and also the black comic lords are gonna get an opportunity to get this particular one by Daryl May with an auction right here. So for mm -hmm. and then you guys will dump the money onto the Kickstarter. All right. So this is an original of Dura, the creator of the World of Asunder, Daryl did today on a Niobe Shears Life blank blank. So it's a super rare comic book. First claim, we'll do a little auction. We'll do a starting line of $80. Starting line of $80 for this absolute masterpiece right here. This is normally like a 250, 275 piece right here. So starting line, $80 first. Uh, let's see who jumps on this first. $80. Starting line, $80 while the Lords are checking out the Kickstarter page. And remember, guys, you put it on the Kickstarter, which means if you spend $80 on the Kickstarter, you get this for free. It's not you spending, give me $80. 
You're dumping, you're spending, you're getting more stuff on the Kickstarter and you will get that for free. Does anybody want to start the bid at 80 bucks for this piece of magic right here? A lot of folks in the chat are like, I've spent a fortune today, so what the fuck? <laughs> What's up, Gorilla Grod? We are on YouTube Live right now, bro. Uh, YouTube Live on StrangerCon. Links links down below. Links down below. Come over and get all your get your free woo homage right here. Get your free woo homage right here. Come over to StrangerCon and get all the free things. All right. Mike, Kevin Anderson started at 80, so 85 for Lily Blue. If you guys want to uh, get a chance to come and jump in the auction for this beautiful piece right here by um, by Daryl May, one of the founders of Stranger Comics. Mike Davis jumped to 95. And remember, guys, you will put this on your Kickstarter. So you'll go, you know what? I'll get $100 worth of shit on the Kickstarter. Get this for free, which means you get more free stuff in the upsell. It is day one madness. Thank you, Dan. Dan jumped to 100. Let's try and hit 300 backers today, guys. If we hit 300 backers before I sign off, maybe I'll throw in something else as well for everyone today. 300 backers. If we, I'm signing off in two and a half hours and going to go get some good pub food. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. Get some bangers and mash up in this shit. Yes. <laughs> bangers and mash. <laughs> bangers and mash. Um, I haven't heard that in 20 years. <laughs> uh, Clinton Foster, two, $700 tier. There, yes, there is an amazing $700 tier, Clinton. It's actually one of the best ones we have is eight Tahani Far. Um, so, Dan, you already placed on the Kickstarter. Yes, 100%, Dan, but... What you would do, bro, is you would then add a hundred dollars on top of that by getting other things. Just add on, buy more things on the Kickstarter for a hundred dollars using that money, and I'll throw in this for free for you as a gift if that makes sense. And Clinton, the seven hundred dollar tier is this you get the Tahani Far Silver of these two, you would get the Tahani Far Silver. Of the the Tusurembedu, the Nadami, Nayobi and Nadami, and what's crazy is you would get the gold as well. Look at that, and you'll see the reflection in the sword by Tahani Far. These are crazy. You'll get eight comics, four silver, four gold. That's the seven hundred dollar tier. Six ninety nine. You'll get all of these. Look at that. And once the Kickstarter is finished, there'll only be five golds and ten silvers, making this extremely rare. That's so, so good looking. It's so good, dude. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, look how pretty that is. The Celestial uh, Niobe is freaking crazy. Nice. Yeah, these metals are the, the, the work. Of I'm trying. I'm trying to get the metal. Which metal you were looking for? The bundle, bro. You're looking for one particular one. Yeah. Right. How do you select which one you want? Oh, so the, you, if you get you just do that one, after you order, yeah. Oh, you do the after. Okay. Correct. Sorry. Yeah. So maybe uh, I. I don't know if it says it in the reward. I'll have a read of it if we need to do an update. But basically, you choose which one you want in the survey when we send the survey out. So it does. Okay. Thank you, Josh. So basically, if you back one and you're like, you know what, I want more than one metal, I want to just pick two of them, you'll go, all right, add one, then add another one. And in, in the pledge manager, does, if that makes sense. So and then when you when we send you the survey, you'll pick um, you'll pick the covers you want. So which is kind of cool because you're like, oh, shit, I want to change my mind. I actually now I think I prefer that one. You can you don't have to feel the pressure to get the exact one that you want right off the bat. Um, so yeah, Dan is in the lead with $100 for Daryl's original, guys. Oh, dang. $100, that's, that's all you're worth now, bro. It's a hondo? It's a hondo, bro. Wait, let me see that other one I just did. Oh, the other one you did is fucking crazy. It's dark, Dara. It's, yeah, you had to, yeah, I, 
No, David says, give it to, no, I'm not going to, Dan, it's going to Dan Ross. Congratulations to Dan Ross. Um, you got it. There we go. 1098. Dan <laughs> Sanchez over it. Dan Ross, congratulations. You got this right here. 100% ink. 100% ink? Yeah, no pencil. You cheated. No. No, you didn't cheat. I you did the opposite. You could have screwed up. Wow, you're so talented, bro. Fuck. <laughs> um so congratulations to dan ross now dan if you tell me your backer number and you add a hundred dollars you spend a hundred extra dollars on the kickstarter i'm going to pop this for you on your kickstarter pledge and mail that off for you for free with your kickstarter that's how cool back in on a on one of my live streams is i just start hooking people up because um you know i was just raised right you know i'm a nice guy you know I've been practicing my British accent, you know, because uh, I know I was good at stuff. Really, I'm from this. No, I can't do accents at all, so I bother. Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. Um, yeah, it's just terrible. Um, so congratulations, Dan. That goes to you, bro. Congrats, congrats, congrats. Let me know when you've upped the pledge to uh, your extra $100, but I'm going to pop that down for Dan Ross. Josh, can you make a note, please? My sticky, My sticky notes have have um disappeared all right i'm gonna put this down dan ross and let me know dan your backer number and uh, your social all right dan ross um for dura i'm gonna put dura the good witch uh, yeah. all right okay there you go that's that one right there congratulations to dan that's amazing and again just to tease you guys mid campaign drops Look at that. What the? Mm. Okay. Um, yeah, that's mid campaign. Just, you know. Um, so. Let's try that again. All right. I keep screwing this up. <laughs> do, you want, um, do you want to do a shared screen? No, I'm almost there. I just. Okay, no worries. Edit my uh, thing. Yeah, anytime you want to edit. And you can always edit your pledge at any time during the can, uh, during the Kickstarter. So if you're like, oh, you, there, there's a new drop that came on that you want to replace or you want to add and so on, um, you can get that. Because And if you want to get the, you know, like you want to add on a Navy T-shirt like this, you know, you know, I've been working out, you know. You can uh, you can rock one of these Navy all over print shirts. Or you can also, you know, if you want to risk not getting beaten up by the woo, you can wear one of our, Wu homages, Nike Cheat Track shirts, as also as add ons on the campaign. That's dope. So, I have a question for you. Um, please, please. I, I did one of the trade packages. So, I get oh, I one with, with three uh, yes. trades. So, which which of those, I don't know, seven, eight options would you recommend? Oh, uh, I would recommend the Untamed for sure, the Volume One Sinner's Prayer. I'd recommend Naobi she, she is Life. And to change it up, I'd probably recommend do so. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. That's two of the three Which, I was thinking about. I have a 12-year-old daughter. Which one would you recommend for her? Naibi Shears Life, 100%. If you're getting a trade paperback, 100%. Naibi Shears Life. Um, some of the single issues you we've done, um, I was trying to think in the Tales of Asunder. Um, I actually already gave her the Naibi Shears Life. You got that one? The Juicy. No, the, the, the Young Do So. Yeah, Young Do um, that one's fine. I'm English. So I'm like, read them all at 12, you know. Um, <laughs> they like Lord of the Rings and Star Wars, Erethun. Erethun is, Erethun is a good one, for sure. It's, it's super, super high fantasy. Super high fantasy. Dusu has just a couple of, like, no, there's no nudity, but there's a little bit of lovemaking. And these are American folks, bro. They don't share that stuff until they're like... Extreme, extreme violence, though. They're fine so with violence. Not, but they're in college. The occasional boob, you know, it's, we're in trouble. Um, no, 12, 12, Naibi, she is life. She is death, I think, I would say it's a little harsher because Naibi's hunting down human traffickers and slave traders. It's where mm -hmm. she starts getting very, um, her armor of innocence is chipped away. And um, as she starts to basically realize how the world truly is and maybe she can't save the world through her faith so she becomes disillusioned with her faith in the goddess her mother essentially and so she's like so 
originally we, we we see this with Niobe on the She's Life, and then we had, then we did, ended up doing this, which um, if I can show you, I wonder if it's in here. Yeah, this is our this is our first Niobe She's Death. We did this about two years before Black Panther came out. And uh, I went to the movie. I was like, well, we're fucked. They're just going to think this is a black <laughs> thing. Um, terrific. Yeah, they even have the right over the left exactly like how they do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's happened a few. Those things happen a lot with Stranger Comics. I don't know why. Um, but, um, but literally, it's like her saying, no, I close myself off from you. Right? And I'm, and I'm, I'm kind of putting on the, the tape wrap. I'm ready to throw down because prayer doesn't work. And then, then we'll have Nobi, she's spirit, and she'll realize she needs to combine her faith and her fighting. And then we'll ascend to Nobi, she's God, where she has to bind nations against the devil, her father, the untamed. Who comes back around? Because Nobi's mixed, she's half angel, half demon, to reflect the duality of spirit we share. That's kind of Nobi's journey. Nice. I was so, curious. Questions. Um, Tales of Asunder. Yes. Wasu and uh, Dusu. Yes. Uh, that, I had that on my uh, pull list at, at, at the store, so I was curious. Uh, will there be any more uh, Stranger Comics in, in the stores? Yes, 100%. So um, we did our Tales of Asunder issues one, two, three, and four um, mm -hmm. for the stores. Um, now, the one that you're getting today, Naivi She Tribe, is actually, I'll show you the trade dress of it for Kickstarter, is actually a Tales of Sunder Volume 2, Issue 1. Okay, that's right. And so we'll have that volume will hit the stores. Issue 2 is The Disciple. Issue 3 is called Confessions of a Demon, and it's set in Purgatory. Um, in Issue 4, we had a guest on earlier, Yetide Badaki of American Gods, uh, who played Bilquish. She and I are writing the new uh, Tales of Asunder Dura comic, which is about our creator. So yes, absolutely. This year, uh, we all those Tales of Asunders will hit hit stores as well. So um, yeah, that, thank you very much. Yeah, I appreciate, I appreciate you asking. Um, we have a question in the chat. One of your guys is, what is Nivy's power set or is she a normal human? Um, she is not a normal human, um, she is half elf, half human, um, half Gallim Wren. So this is how our, these are the, generally what the Gallim Wren tribe look like to give you a kind of a, uh, for folks that don't know, uh, Niobe so much, if you can see it, I've got terrible lighting here, but, um, there you go. There's, these are what are, so in our fantasy world, thank you, Dan. I appreciate it. In our fantasy world, if you're an elf, the, the quick version, in, U, in Ujoa, you're black. You're, you're from the African dias diaspora. If you're, if you're from Herfang, you're white, et cetera, et cetera. But within that space, there are four different types of elves. Nomadic elves. So these are kind of like nomadic elves of Ujoa. Nomadic elves in the European part would be like Eskimos. Right. So you you're really kind of playing with lots and lots of mythos within lots of lots of cultures. So but I also feel like with um, Niobe is essentially, yes, she isn't human because even though it's not right here, she has her own character class called the Omdar, which is an official Pathfinder role playing game, which is also on the Kickstarter you can get. Hey, Darren, if you can uh, grab Quincy to um, get me a Pathfinder module. Of, it's in the, you know where it is? Thank you, bro. Uh, Priscilla loves elves. Ah, oh, I love you, darling. Um, and so she starts as a healer. And because the, because the way I view it is this, right? If you're, if you're um, someone of the faith that you're getting your power from a, an entity, a god or a goddess, that God's like, oh, you're down with me. Okay, I'm going to, the more you worship the me, the more I'm going to bless you. And the more she strays past from that path of light, she's also her father's daughter, the, essentially the spiritual descendant of the untamed. So maybe the more she does, thank you, bad stuff, the more she'll be pulled to 
the devil's gifts and those types of things. And, and it's this real pull, push and pull. But all she really wants to do, which is, I think, the human element of it all, is just be a girl and just experience first kiss and um, uh, romance and um, a sense of peace and a sense of place and, and also being, being pulled in these different areas and, and also being mixed. It's essentially a journey of finding the place where you belong but really do we can we i mean speaking of someone that's mixed is like is there anywhere i really belong mm -hmm. so all i'm trying to do is trying to find where i can fit in and if once i get past that psychology is i don't look to fit in anywhere i find my tribe with the people that i love and that i find my you know, which I found, you know, following up with the Stranger Comics family over the last um, 15 years is just uh, mm. such a, and I'm, and as a, as a mixed dude, I'm also extremely militant in my approach um, mentally. Um, so it, it is that, that balance of like Niobe, she's like, okay, here, are, you can find out her powers right here in our Pathfinder module. Um she has dreadlocks. She has dreadlocks because she's trying to connect with her tribe or with her people. Do her people accept her because she's mixed? But she also has dreadlocks because it's the last memory she has of holding on to her mother's hair as her mother was being pulled away. So there's lots and lots of levels to, um, to that. Um, Mark Robinson says, just getting here. Do you have a website where I can yeah. buy the, the back issues? Thank you. Yes. I appreciate that, Mark. We actually have, if you want to come to the Kickstarter, we have the best version to get of all the hardcovers. Let me show you these. Hey, Daryl, can you do me a favor, bro? Yeah. Can you just come and grab these off my... Uh, yeah, that hardcover says nice. Yeah, so I want to show you the hardcovers, uh, guys, because the hardcovers are crazy, and we have read everything bundles for a massive discount. So here we go. I'm going to show you what they look like. Where there's two different versions. Okay, so the regular hardcovers, they're all black, they're all glossy, they're all beautiful, and they're oversized. So if here is a regular comic book, essentially, here are the size of our hardcovers. They're like Tash and hardcover coffee table books. Um, and if you like the special edition hardcover version of these, it will actually have a reversible dust jacket edition right oh, wow. nice that's nice so good <laughs> all right and, I'm gonna, and so if you get very one, nice thank you i appreciate that um i'm gonna show you a couple of other ones too like as example we were talking about the dusu one earlier the grown dusu is dusu okay, check the interior out it's quite spectacular oh wow mm. man that's nice Thank you. Man, that's nice. So all these beautiful, the, and that's got gold kind of foil um, on the uh, tray dress. So that's Dusu as example. And I'll show you another one so you can see it, which is Naobi Shears Life. There's, there's a Mandela and there's me because I was jealous. And um, the specialist in hardcovers. And that art is done by Hyung of The Last of Us. Mm. Um, and so is, so is that. And so is that. So if you want to go over to the Kickstarter, folks that are joining, um, I'm going to show you an area where to get them. Um, and also, um, it says, Kickstarter says, Pathfinder info in the D&D homage trade paperback. Is that different what's in the Pathfinder? Yes, Shay, in the trade paperback of this edition of the the special Kickstarter edition of this trade paperback for Tales of Asunder, this rare exclusive cover D, &D homage. It has different um, different Pathfinder material in the back from what's in the Pathfinder module. You're actually gonna get bonus Pathfinder material in the back of your Tales of Asunder trade paperback. Now, what I'm gonna do for folks that are joining is 
I'm going to do the pitch for The Untamed for folks that don't know Stranger Comics, and I'll show yeah, you yeah, where you yeah. can get a binge bundle deal. Okay, so somebody said, I hear the, I feel the pitch is coming, so I'm going to give you guys the pitch for the Black Comic Laws folks that are here. And uh, we will start a little, let me get all my stuff ready. We will start a little like this. All right, so this is, this is the pitch. So the Stranger Comics family know this pitch ad nauseum. All right, so here we go. The pitch. Start Let me get some here. popcorn. Yeah, get some popcorn. It is. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Black Comic Laws and folks in the chat. Would you damn you? What'd you say? I said I'm now pledged. Okay. Oh, but thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, so here we go. Would you damn your family to save the world? The Untamed is a story of a man who's stuck in purgatory. And after 10 years, the devil comes along and he says, I'll give you seven days to reap the seven souls that murdered you and your family. And he says, well, sign me up. Hmm. He takes a drifter's return to a one horse town in a huge world. As his memory comes back in broken shards, he realizes when he was alive, he was a bad man. And maybe he deserved to die. But now he's on a path to save his family. On his path of vengeance, he meets a little elven girl called Niobe. And she reminds him of how old his murdered daughter would have been, given, given this man a second chance that we men need to be a good man, a father. He only has seven days. The kicker is, what if she's one of the seven souls he has to collect? Hmm. Oh. And the devil set the whole thing up just to find out. <laughs> Would you damn your family to save the world? Because if Niobe can stay alive in the untamed, maybe she will grow up to become our world's Luke savior. Skywalker. There you go, the savior of our world. <laughs> oh, man. That nice. is the origins of the untamed. And... Do is the story of a man with the spirit of the jaguar deep within his soul. When the ancient spirit of the wolf comes hunting him, he has to risk unleashing his own inner beast and risk destroying the tribe he loves just to save them. This is Nivy's tribe. She just doesn't know it yet. I'll show you one interior page. You'll go, oh, it's painted like that. Yes, the whole book. We yeah. spent seven years mm. painting. The, the, who's the name of the artist on that? Because that artwork looks a lot like Tim Fielder. It's a guy I uh, found called James Corey Webster out, out in Atlanta. Um, he also does some of my kids' books, too. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's absolutely beautiful at work. Thank you. Yeah, we spent seven years painting that. Um, if you guys are fans of The Untamed or you like the idea of that storyline, um, this is very much like a spaghetti western set in a fantasy world. I got to say, I, I read that book and we did when we did our interview with you when you uh, on Black Comic Lords. Yes, sir. Um, I read The Untamed to prepare for the interview and um, I was really impressed. And, you know, what I loved most about that book is your your inclusion of poetry in it. Oh, I thought that that was true. pretty amazing. And um, we don't see a whole lot of that in comics, you know what I'm saying? Where where people are allowed to be introspective or to to give you know certain narration, and I just really really enjoyed that you know in the untamed that was that was dope. Thank you. I I, pre I appreciate that. It's um. Yeah, you, I, you, you, know, were on, you were on a show earlier this week, and mm -hmm. one of the things that Big Phil had said is that comics today are written at like the third grade level, and your books are not. Your your books are are are, are poetry and, and and world building, and um, reminds me of, of classic books of old. So yeah, my hats off to you, man. Thank you. I I do I do appreciate that. Um, you know, it's um, it's funny. I think so. On the first Untamed comic book, um, there's a poem, right? So we always say, you see that man down there? What's holding him up is the is the hand of the devil. Mm -hmm. And there's a poem I wrote on here, and it's the hand that paints, the face that laughs, borrows sorrow from my past. Fools in red have lain to bed, her smile, my name, 
our whisper. And I guess if you want the, you know, the like the true the true realities of um, of Stranger Comics is, uh, um, it's that that I was I was a bad guy at the wrong time, and I needed to be a better man. And so I think I realized I what I wanted to do at the time was go. How could I be a better man? Would I make a deal with the devil to be a better man? Would I kill the world to be a better father? What would I do for my family to get back to them? And, uh, you know, if I had seven days to do it, you know, and it came very organically, um, I was rocking my newborn to sleep and I, um, I was overtired. I was arguing with my son's mom in a, in a big way. She was having a really hard time with family stuff and I felt awful about everything. And um, I suddenly saw these demon patterns dancing on the wall through the curtains, just probably just overtired. And um, I just wrote, um, I'm a bad man. I would make a deal with the devil to save my family. Day one, I come to town. I do this, that, and the other. Day two, and it was just pencil on paper. And it was, um, I did it in about 10 minutes. Mm. And then after 10 minutes, I took a step back and I was like, oh, shit, this would make a good, this would make a good fucking movie. And, um, <laughs> you know, and then uh, seven, ep or seven episodes, or it's just this countdown. And then, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You know, seven issues you know and then um and i had i was writing a whole bunch of poetry with all the shit that i was dealing with so i built the, the um the untamed around some of the poems that are in there and i was working with my co-creator daryl on um on fleshing out this fantasy world you know we're just young inexperienced doing this stuff even though I've been thinking about this world since I was a little boy, now it's kind of serious, right? And we go, oh, I could take this to a comic company. I used to run a record label, put out lots of albums, but now I want to do comics. I don't want to run a company again, but how can I, um, how can I make this? And I shopped it around. I'm sure I told you guys to a lot of top companies and they were like, um, yeah, we don't, we don't do fantasy comics. We don't do comics with female leads. We don't do black comics. And I'm like, yeah, I'm doing all three. <laughs> you know, you're like, oh, that's fucking crazy. No, or oh, maybe this would good, look good during a Black History Month announcement, or maybe we'd do this in four issues, and, and so on. I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna have to start Stranger Comics to protect the integrity of Niobe and um, and her journey. And I was broke as fuck at the time, you know, um, and independent. I was acting a lot, and I was doing really well in my career. And it was like I could either continue doing this or make comic books and uh i chose the comic route um i mean independent black female lead fantasy it's a niche within a niche within a niche within a niche within a niche <laughs> yeah yeah and and we were talking a little bit yesterday about your um how the complexion for niobe changes as well right Throughout the right books. thank you for bringing that up yeah so it's interesting when I worked with Tuso on uh, Tuso and Bedu on Naobi She Tribe, the new one. She was like, um, "Well, Amanda wrote, you know, she is life with you, and she's light skinned, and I'm I'm not." And I'm like, "Well, that's the, that's the point. Is if you actually see, and I'll show you another one from um, Eric Food. Um, there's a let's see if I can find it. There we go. It's." So here's uh, in the Scandinavian part of our world, right? But here is Niobe when she's older, right there. You can see. So if you, uh, here, let me just do this again, real quick. Lip. There we go. So again, these are in our hard covers, guys. There's there's Niobe older, and I was like, I wanted um, different you know, girls of different complexions and different cultures and different backgrounds to go, I am Niobe. I see my, I'm not, you know, Niobe has been with me since I was a boy. It didn't originate with Niobe Shears' life with Amanda. In fact, she appears in The Untamed, but for a long time, she's been with me. And um, and also, as I've grown as well, right? So the journey of my philosophies grow. So you, organically, as I have grown she's grown with me and so is the world that we've built around her and um hopefully become wiser and so on but really that was massively important that and the reason why in sheer spirit her hair is going to grow and it's going to be a kind of a real mess of a fro 
so I've got her with dreadlocks in uh, Navi She's Life. She cuts them off, you know, for philosophical reasons, for like, oh, I'm not connected with my mom, <laughs> off, you know. Uh, she, she, she's bald, um, and uh, then she's going to have a fro. So my feeling is any young black girl or any black woman can go, that's me. I, uh, you know, that's, that's who I am right there. And, uh, and be very, uncom I'm very, I'm very uncompromising in that. Um, so when I do deals with studios or they make offers, I'm like, okay, there are, there are certain things I just, I just won't budge on. I just, it doesn't matter, you know? Um, and I wonder if it's, um, just from my upbringing, um, just to not, I don't know. It's, uh, it's whole, it's not understanding what moral consequences are where you wrestle with, well, I'm broke and I can't, I, I have no money in my son's college fund. But so I'm turning down a big offer mm -hmm. because I'm holding on to the integrity of this, right? And hopefully people support it enough for me to continue doing this. But it's at, the sacrifice of my loved one's well-being when you go when you have studios going hey can you uh actually i want no no it's got to be she's got i, I want to keep a light skinned or i want uh this so back in the early days to be honest i had a producer say i'll, I'll make dusu if i make uh, if we can make dusu white right so rather than a black human being raised by black elves can i very jungle book you're right very tarzan or a very tarzan right I right and uh because it's just it's just man out of place you know uh kind of kind of a storyline and the same with niobe can you make can i make niobe a white boy can i make niobe this and i'm like no and then of course years later they go hey re remember me i'm like yeah i remember um um so the the um the uh the journey has been financially brutal and people in my life in my circle of loved ones my immediate circle of loved ones have really suffered for the craft of what we do and not just me but all the guys that work with me have been with me since the jump you know this isn't um so so when a student comes along and says hey seb here we got an offer for 50 grand for an option real quick can we give you 50 grand and you're like 50 grand is 50 fuck yeah I, that sounds incredible and i can i could i could do so much with that you know and they go, well, what's my role in it? Well, you could be a co-EP, you could be, but you don't get any say. You can't do this, you can't do that. And I'm like, I, I, I can't, I can't do that. It's a real, it's a real struggle for me to let this child, essentially, I've raised mm -hmm. Niobe, um, go to the wrong home or the wrong school or the wrong whatever right the wrong next phase of her life um and i and i'm also conscious it's like the poem if which i was i was i'm going to read at the end it's my favorite poem the, the kipling joint that um what's his name nas uses a bit in the beginning of uh, made you look right the very beginning of the hip-hop joint made you look he pulls a piece from that poem if it's just and it's like um allow all men to doubt you and allow yourself to doubt is it allow room to doubt yourself as well because i don't want to always be like well i fucking know what's best so when i work with creators or a studio head i'm gonna be like oh I, i'm not ever in a mind like i'm always going to be right because that's ridiculous because how does i'm just then like a politician screaming into a vacuum of my own belief which i think is bullshit you know? mm. i will um... say though i think that for the work that you have put in for your brand and for Niobe in particular, I think you've done a substantial amount of work that if anybody was to quote unquote come along, those that have been rocking with you those 15 years are going to call it for what it is. Right. Um, so I, I salute you because I think that whoever sees this that's, that has their own IP can be inspired because, again, it's, it's always that thought, well, if the guys with the quote unquote with the bag will buy my IP. Right, right, right. You know, um, this is what I can look forward to. But you've right. also given them hope. And if I hold on to it, 
I was listening to a podcast a couple of days ago, and they were talking about Aaron Magruder mm-hmm. and Boondocks, and how it it became harder and harder and harder for him to really enjoy being a cartoonist because he had so many deadlines. He he had to answer to other people and that kind of thing, and it and it and it took a toll on him, of course. And of course, they were able to do the show, but. There's no way he could do that show today if he was trying, because it just would not fit. Right, right. And so I think with you, you know, Mr. Sebastian, I think that you have something incredible. Man, I mean, you know, I'm looking for the day that we get to see this on the screen, whether it's, you know, uh, streaming, Netflix, Netflix. I'm just just looking for it, because I know that's going to happen. It has to happen. You put too much into this, there's too much energy and too much lore because if we if we being honest and we're comic heads there's nothing like this other than i would say black panther in terms of range of of a universe and in terms of black storytelling so salute to you bro just because you you've taken what you what you that idea from years ago and and you really put it together you know so and and you've given it the the you know you've given it literature me and Paul have this discussion all the time when we talk about who's the top writers today and that kind of thing. And 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 no one can really ring off bells or whatever. But mm. when it comes to your writing, you know, you're not just a comic book writer, you're a storyteller. Thank you. Yeah. And and that's the biggest thing for me that anybody can write a comic book, mm. but you tell a story, man. That's you get all the salute and support when it comes to black comic laws because They'll tell you, these guys will tell you, I, I can, you know, I love art. Right. It's great. But right. man, can you tell me something? Right. And so when I look at Asunder, you know, uh, as an organic thing, I, I, I see something that Paul can pass down to his daughter. I see something that I can share with other kids, whether it be, you know, um, at my church or at school or whatever. Right. I can do this because it comes, it's, it comes from a, a genuine place. Right. So, Salute, bro. For real. Thank you. That's pff, means a lot, to be honest. It's uh, you know, <laughs> I I think um, I was talking to Derek about this yesterday a little bit. I know this, the way I write isn't. Maybe if it was the '90s, there was less distractions with social media and people just getting caught in so many different. Like, I need the explosion quickly. I need the headline up front. Even when we were at HBO, they were like, um, I like a slow burn. I like to tell a story in a certain way that make you invest and then like be really invested in a, in a real soulful way. Um, but I was like, no, we need plot up front. This is what's happening. Now I can kind of let you see if you like the character. Now see if you can get invested into the characters. And for me, I'm like, I think that does a disservice to the opportunity for someone to... Um, I don't know really resonate on a human level on a deeper on levels of emotional connection um with uh, with these characters and with these stories otherwise it just feels like a another explosion that we des- that we're just desensitized by we're just desensitized by um another costume another this so oh and it, and it always feels like um a bit of a show and you know a bit of a like okay just distracting mm-hmm. a bit of show a bit of pizzazz and I'm like I I'm, I, you know, I'm in the same boat. To be honest, I just don't, I just don't give a fuck. I just don't. It actually <laughs> doesn't do anything for me. You know, yeah. like. Um, no, I, I think it's the opposite, yeah. bro. I, I don't think it's that you don't give a fuck. I think you do, and I mm, think you, absolutely, you, you, yeah. You, you, you give. Mm. You have artistic integrity, man, and then you and you, these stories is your truth. And you don't want to compromise on your truth. And the good thing about that is that with your fans, which are numerous and growing, um, they recognize that truth. And I, I'm, I don't know, maybe I'm just my background or what have you, but I'm one of those people that the guys always make fun of for being optimistic and hopeful. You know, <laughs> I'm, I'm the hopeful guy. Like, okay. <laughs> let's not be all doom and gloom, guys. That's why they're laughing because they're like, they know this is true. I'm like, let's not be all doom and gloom. It's it's gonna work out mm. because we believe in what we're doing, mm-hmm. and we know that I I truly believe it's gonna work out. Mm-hmm. And and I think I feel I think that's the same with you, man. You like you you 
it's your truth and you know what you're doing and you believe in what you're doing and you just got to have faith it's going to work out but what's the point yeah god yeah i tell you it's uh I, I was in england towards the end of last year and um i was with a mate of mine and he was saying uh he's like how you doing we're both like we were 50 right so it's like and he said um he goes I, we were talking about like the idea of just saying fuck it quitting and then going somewhere joshua tree no one to see me ever again you know and he goes you just have to almost reset that you realize do you have the same ambition you did in your 20s and 30s and it's okay not to but you can replenish that by learning how to do a reset rather than like almost going hey is no one is no one is no one seeing this is no one hearing this because talking about my writing obviously i mean the artists that we have uh, what's up, Brandon? Uh, great writer, Brandon Easton and David Crowns, and on Instagram, come over to YouTube, guys. We're on there with the Black Comic Lords. Um, and uh, Brandon Easton actually did the um, forward in the Dusu book. Um, and um, but a lot of times, the art obviously is the spectacle. It's the it's your love at first sight for a lot of comic folks. And um, yeah, I'll, it is interesting. There is. Sometimes I get the, I don't really like the untamed. I don't really get it. It was too complex. I was too dark or there wasn't enough happening. And uh, years ago, I met with a director, one of the more, the, one of the biggest directors ever. <laughs> but this is when he had done like one or two movies. And he said, um, he went out, went out for lunch and he goes, uh, I want to do the, I want to make the untamed, love the comic, love your script. But I want to make a change to it that in the first 10, 10 uh, minutes or so, when the stranger comes to town, for folks that don't know, it's very spaghetti western, yo Jimbo, Kurosawa vibe, guy comes to town and he sees these bad guys, you know, and they're, they're basically doing a, a hanging, uh, they're killing a man. And he said, I want, I want the stranger to fuck him up. Doesn't have to kill him, he just, he just beats him up so we know he's a badass right from the jump. And I was like, ew, really? <laughs> I, I yeah, they, wanted you to pull, they wanted you to pull a Jack Reacher. <laughs> yeah, they did, 100%. And I was like, it just seemed, I, I want the, the shock when he kills his first guy to be unexpectedly brutal. And, oh, my God, this is a bad man. Oh, this is a, a bad man but he's on a path that I can get behind because I'll do anything for my family too, but at what levels? So, you know, and can, and then that's the irony of the whole piece is he has to make the right decision for his wife and kids who have ever have kind of accepted him, even though he didn't realize it was still alive. Right. It's, he's got this, he had to become something he was. And I say in death, he was a villain in life. He has to become that hero. It's that, that, that this thing. And the irony, irony is he has to teach Niobe how to kill in the Untamed Caesar, his storylines, for her to stay alive, which brings her closer to the Untamed, as she teaches him humanity. And then they'll just start to cross in their, in their journey. So you've got all these lovely, um, you know, layers to kind of, kind of find, you know, um, so yeah, that's um, and then yeah, Josh made a point. Besides, you can tell the fact he's not least bit bothered by this guy hanging a guy. He's just not someone to fuck with, you know. Which I also yeah, like. It's like uh, it's you know the old Tashiro Mifune and Yojimbo. It's the Clint Eastwood spaghetti western guy. You just go, eh, I don't know, uh, maybe not. Um, so for folks that are um, in the chat that are here, if you do want to get, I do have amazing trade paperback bundles if you want to get a whole bunch of trades you've you've got great trade paperback bundle deals on the kickstarter all right so when you go to the kickstarter you go hey i've never read any of this shit and you just want to read um i'll read you one line from the untamed that will sum up how i write um after all this praise so the stranger returns to essentially where his wife and child were buried right so he returns right here 
And he discovers this little doll, obviously his child's doll, underneath the uh, earth and sand. And he says, it's a special moment when you bleed a man. Mm. A bond is formed, just you and him. To break his body, to gut his spirit, to, sorry, to gut his joy, but what of his spirit? To break his body, to gut his joy, but what of his spirit? When you look into his eyes, you'll know in those last moments, the last breath will let you know. But the heart is a deceiver for the mind, a girl once told me. Hmm. That's, that's, the un, that's the untamed. Hey, Daryl, you are uh, honking, bro. Yeah. yeah. Um, how, hey, how many times Sebastian, there's, a, there's a question in the chat. I tell y'all, Sebastian Jones got bars. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what I'll do also for that's that's the untamed. That's very man, you know. I'm gonna read you something from Naibi She Tribe, which is essentially, and this is never a knock. What's up, Candy Cabs and Petty Pegasus? You guys want to come over to Instagram, Jay Watica? Jump on the Kickstarter now, guys. Don't forget day one backers, get your Wu homage for free. Everyone knows me for on Instagram, they don't realize I'm over here. Um, this is never a knock on someone else's. I guess, perspective of religion or faith. But this is what it is for me, I guess. So I wanted Niobe's running for um, the, the, the devil has come, essentially, right? And, um, well, oh, it's a Naibi Dura, I'm tripping. Where is the Naibi Dura comic book right here? Yeah, sorry. I'll read it from this beautiful metal edition of Naibi Dura issue one, um, which I wrote with Prentice Penny, the showrunner of Insecure. Didn't he also write um, Captain Gravity? Is it, am I thinking of the same guy? It's Prentice Penny, he was the showrunner of Insecure. He wrote uh, what he did write on um, Girlfriends, on uh, Brooklyn Nine Nine, and um, a few. I uh, can't remember now. Um, some other goodies. Um, Let's just so, back. Okay. So um, it's basically, so it's this, I'll read you a, a, a bit right here. So, okay, Nabi's running from the devil has come to claim her. And the goddess is speaking over her. And she says, so I always, I generally, with Niobe, if you read, I generally will ask the reader a question the same way the goddess is asking Niobe. Like in Shea's life, the first line is in Niobe Shea's life, what haunts you? So you are the reader going, what haunts me? The goddess is asking Naibi what haunts her, which puts you in the footsteps of Naibi to connect with her. So this is, should I speak as you wish me to? Shall I sing you my song? Will my scriptures be written into your memory from a time before you could remember? Painting fables of a past with sunsets wrapped in sheets of gold, of salt-kissed oceans and sleeping fairies, the scent of a newborn world. Follow my tale, child, and I will tell you my truth. If only you look not to the light above, but the one within, or it will own you. I can't imagine what it would have been like being your child and having story time as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say, uh, hey, there's I'll some say, questions uh, coming in. Yeah, go, go, no, give me one more thing. Yep. Give me one, one quick thing. A leader is not measured in followers. We talked about this, I think, the other day, like Instagram followers, all that shit. A leader is not measured in followers, but in the demons they have the courage to face. And the line that I want to read is, because I don't, because like, all these motherfuckers with these big followers, and that's important. It's like, oh, then therefore we should value. If we value profit and uh, and money, then we should be like, oh yeah, Kenny G was the best. Um, he was the best jazz artist of all time. Miles Davis, psh, Kenny G outsold him, so he must be better. Vanilla Ice, much better than Gangsta. <laughs> Guru, nothing on. Van you know what I'm saying? It's like, what value are we putting on the art that we're creating that will stand the test of time? So I say this: when the when this woman, sac pregnant woman, sacrifices herself for Niobe, she says, "Remember, she tribe, do not trust the word because it is written." Our trees have died to hold man's lies. It's up to you to speak our truth. Oh, snap. 
Mm-hmm. That's a bar. That's a bar. <laughs> that's a whole. That's a whole chapter. Our trees died that's to hold bar. man's that's lives because the trees that's have the pages that's of man's written lies. That's a bar. I just got shook. <laughs> that's so, funny. That, that that's funny. So when you I mean, read, look, that, that, when you, see, when you and see, that's that's that's, that's that poetry. That's that, that that poetic style or whatever. I mean, that's that's cla- that's classic, classic comic book writing, in my opinion. Um, to be able to flip a phrase like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, that's that's not a bar. That's a metal gate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a metal gate. Yeah, we're gonna pick that up for sure. <laughs> there was there was yeah, one question artist, in the BCL bro, chat. Yeah, I think Travis uh Holloway was asking um where you can get the dope shirts. Oh dope shirts, yeah. You can get it as an add-on on the uh Kickstarter campaign. Just uh so you get your 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 she tribe shirts, you get all these shirts. So basically, guys, any of these shirts you want, thank you. Any of these shirts you want, guys, back the Kickstarter and then um, you can add on any merchandise. We've got jewelry, Navy jewelry lines. Excuse me. Uh, you've got the T-shirts. You've got live action role playing swords. Lots of things to add on to um, to to the uh, not just the initial pledge. You can add on all sorts of other cool stuff. We've even got like fun little patches, like cheap rewards like this. It's not all super expensive, high end stuff. Cups, uh, cups, the mugs. Look, this is one of the older mugs. Look at that. You could drink out of me right there. <laughs> David Mac joints right there. So, yeah, if you guys go to the Kickstarter page and scroll down. Yeah, the tote bags are amazing. Thank you, uh, Vicky. Let me show you the kinds of uh, the quality of the merch that we have. Um, I'll show you this real quick. So all our merch is not, not fucking about merch. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. So if you want to get... Tote bags, the tote bags are really, really thick. They're super sturdy um, and uh, really, really full. If you want to get, uh, talk about you wrote one of your stories on paper and you realize, yeah, is that your normal writing process? That's a great question. No, my, sound, I'm going to sound like an obnoxious dickhead. To be honest, my writing process now is um, I've got to put on a certain kind of song or sound that puts me in a certain spirit spirit gives me a, a mood a vibe and um and oftentimes the stories that i want to uh tell they they're they're instinctive to me like with Nibi she tribe this one right here the new one on this kickstarter i was um really kind of i wrestle with the idea of tradition right so in england things are tradition so you must Therefore, it must be, um, and not just in England. With that, that tradition could have been translated to law, and you know, laws are considered tradition. They can be uh, tribes. They have their traditions. Like, oh, I must, I can, I can do this on the first night of that. Is that good for the late? All these various things that could be considered traditions. That doesn't matter what culture you're from. Are all traditions good? So I wanted to create this storyline. Um, I gave uh, two so two options with two different storylines. And this one was Niobe comes across a tribe. There's a tradition within this tribe that's kind of fucked up in her opinion. And so she goes about to change it. But then she's got to have this realization. Well, also, like, who the fuck is she? Who are you to change someone's tradition? And let's say you change it. Are you then going to stick around and go like, or stay within, or like, hey, I've just changed your tradition. All right, I'm off. Like, how? once you leave, what's going to happen to these people that have essentially been raised for hundreds or thousands of years a certain way, and and now what happens to them? So that I like those kind of moral uh, dilemmas. Um, so that that's that's kind of a big deal. Yeah. And I see uh, Shawazin said, for the newcomers, we have free books today for the stream. Thank uh, you. The, yes. For the Black Comic Lord audience. Uh, Absolutely. So, guys, because you're here um, on the uh, stream, just for just for being here, you can go to strangercomics.com and you can get your free Akira Disciple homage just for being on strangercomics. On this stream right now with you guys. Okay. 
Um, you go to thestrangecomics.com and you will type in a code, which I don't remember because it's changed a, uh, changed a bit. T-Y-S-C. T-Y-S-C, I believe is what you said. It's, it's going to you... come on the ticker right in a, in a, we, in a, like a code for, look at this. Oh, the 10th uh, there suspense. There you go. Yes, T-Y-S-C. So there you go. There are two codes. Okay, there are back. I thought it was one code. I thought we were back to. <sighs> there are two codes. I if you go do the TYSC, you've got to back the Kickstarter, and you get this Spirit Runes homage as well. All the information I think Josh would have probably put on the website. I'm guessing, but Josh will write them down. Okay, Neo Tokyo is still that one. Okay, I thought you changed it to one code. My bad. So Neo okay. Tokyo, type in Neo Tokyo, you will get this one. Neo Tokyo, you will get the Virgin Edition. If you go to strangecomics.com, type that in. You want to get this, which is going to be super, super rare. It will never be offered again. The Spirit Runes version, The that is the code right there. And then if you back the Kickstarter today... Day one backers, just for backing the Kickstarter, you get this for free. So go and back the Kickstarter, because if you don't back the Kickstarter, you will not be able to get the Spirit Runes version. All right? And we want to try and hit 300 backers. 300 backers before I end the stream. We're at 270-something. Um, if you guys are readers that I believe were interested in reading kind of like book bundles deals, Go scroll down, go to the everything bundle deal. We're at 272, we're at 28 backers off, guys. So good. coming back the kick. We want to try and hit 300 backers before the end of the evening. We're at $43,000. We're already easily at our most, our second most successful first day campaign financially. So a huge thank you to everyone in the chat. Um, back the Kickstarter. First day back as you will get the, this Wu Javen Jordan homage for free, for free, for free. Uh, everything bundle deal for readers are amazing. Trade paperbacks, hardcovers, special edition hardcovers. You can add on lots of rewards if you want to get the early birds. They're great deals too. They'll save you a bunch of money. Um, you'll get all sorts of rare, rare collector sets as well. Um, David Mack editions, all sorts of fun things. And um, yes, and all sorts of bonus goodies as well. And, oh, and check this out. This came in today. I meant to show this earlier, but the Indie Comics Dispatch, a bunch of people voted, and this arrived today just in time. Hey, congratulations. Hey, congratulations. Yeah. How crazy is that? Nice. Yeah, it's Isn't not that cool? crazy at all. It's, it's well, well warranted. Thank you. I, I appreciate that very much. I really do, guys. Um, so yeah, all sorts of goodies, guys, in, in the chat. Get your tote bags, get your merch. If you like these posters, you can add on any poster you want as well. Um, I will also do, while I've got the Lords on, Daryl May did the, we had, Dan got the um, the Good Witch Dura. Daryl also just finished the Dark Witch uh, Dura. Look at that. Mm. He's been turned by Vastar. And the untamed that's freaking crazy that details crazy <laughs> and this is on a niobe endura issue one so he did that today guys i will do a starting line again you can click you can stick this on your kicks you can stick it anywhere but you can stick the money on the kickstarter <laughs> we'll do a starting line of just 80 dollars starting line of 80 dollars Again, you will put this on the Kickstarter, which means you get more stuff on the Kickstarter and therefore more potential freebie upscales. Where would we put the codes on the website? Love your work. Thank you so much, Demonite Witch Rider. Um, you put it at the very end of the uh, of the purchase, I believe. But Josh will, um, Josh will let you know. So starting line there. And then I've got to then rewrite what I've got on because I put that down wrong in the checkout. There we go. 
the 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 devil dura homage that shit is crazy 80 dollars starting line if anybody wants to claim this and you put it on the kickstarter at the very end okay so type where on stranger comics um it's in the checkout in the uh, checkout you, yes yeah put stuff in your in your cart and then you hit checkout and then you'll see the code yeah. ah okay oh there we go perfect thank you <laughs> i'm i'm learning all right mike davis is in at 80 dollars. thank you mike mike davis is og stranger comics family um veteran nearly retiring um and he's like he knows when i start getting this stuff it's like oh i get more stuff on the kickstarter i get that for this for free and more upsell stuff for free yeah okay these cover kind of covers guys usually go for about 250 this kind of this kind of original is that quality hmm. so i'm giving you guys a chance to get all these wonderful things right now um this is an original inks original inks right here by Daryl May, the devil. I don't think you've done a, ever done a Dura looking uh, this savage. I saw someone draw something in that style, and I was like, I'm gonna do a Dura like that. Yeah, bro, this shit's ridiculous. Yeah, new artist. Macario Berry, what's up, Black Dynamite? We're in the middle of a. Um, speaking of uh, TV and film, you guys know we our first guest of the morning. We had um, Carl Jones on. Carl Jones, the the, the, one of the writers and producers of Boondocks and yeah. Black Diamond Might. Mm -hmm. And uh, we we were like, yeah, we can't talk about it. But yeah, we think we might do this together and uh, make a Niobe animated movie that people just won't see coming. And That's uh, what's um, up. Thank you, Azur Breeze. I appreciate that. What's up, Super Slabs? What's up? What's up, everybody? Thank you so much. So yeah, the goal, guys, is I want to do a Niobe animated movie and an untamed live action movie. That's, that's the goal. And then, so I get two different audiences going like, Oh, I'm into the grizzled movie, spaghetti Western, gritty, gritty, gritty vibe for the untamed. And the Niobe fans are going to be like, Oh, I'm into the anime and the animation that, and then bridge both worlds into the giant and Niobe an uh, uh, live action film. So, guys, we are on. What's up, Lucian? Uh, Lucian says it's an amazing ca uh, cover, Daryl. Lucian is. Lucian, yeah. We're at 95 with Mike Davis. <laughs> so, folks that are joining now, back the kickstart. If you're just joining Super Slabs, you're back, Macario. You know, if you get this, uh, back the kickstart, you get this joint for free. And my man, Macario, is a big uh, collector of our metals. Our metals, the baller bundle deals are crazy. All right, we'll do we'll do thirty more seconds on this, guys. Right now, Mike Davis might get this for a steal at ninety five. That's oh, a, yeah, yeah, it's a crazy steal. <laughs> steal for ninety five dollars. So again, folks, um, if you back the Kickstarter, day, you get the Wu homage for free. Don't forget to get your Akira joints right now. You've got to back the Kickstarter though to get the Spirit Runes edition. You got to back the Kickstarter to get. The Spirit Runes Edition. All right. So make sure you back the Kickstarter before uh, the Stranger Stream is up and it's going to be over at eight o'clock because uh, it's a kind of wild situation. Thank you, oh, Derek. I, I appreciate have, that. Do I have to put that code in? Hmm. 274, 274. Yeah, Brian Weiss, you spent a grip. All right. So, all right. 10. Nine eight one. Congratulations, Mike Davis. You got this joint for ninety five dollars. What the? Whoa. Okay, congrats, Mike Davis. I love you, bro. Congrats, congrats. Mike, Mike deserves this shit. Yes. Um, congrats to Mike Davis. Um. Uh, Dura. I'm gonna put Dura bad. Mike Davis. So Mike, you got to put uh, ninety five dollars on the kick. 
And that is yours. Congratulations, congratulations. Folks that are joining now, I believe some of the black comic lawyers, if Derek, you guys got a split, you guys, you're more than welcome to hang out as long as you want. We have the rest of the Stranger Comics crew literally will be on the chat at seven o'clock for the final hour um, before we go and uh, go and get some uh, some grub. Maybe I'll um, do half an hour on uh, dedicated on Instagram for these folks as well right after. But folks, if you haven't, if you haven't backed it and you want to get the metal joints, this is the joint you want to get. And thank you so much to the folks, the Black Comic Lords fan base that have come in to support support us in a big way um i sincerely appreciate you guys big time yeah we've seen quite a few pledges come through the channel so thanks really my comic lord channel oh absolutely oh that shit's amazing that's a thank you that's awesome that's so freaking cool thank you can, can we can we do a shameless plug please plug away sir Derek, go handle it all right hey um check out our uh, our platforms um we're on uh, facebook just look up black comic lords we have a sister uh community as well called black superheroes forever and then we also have a youtube channel black comic lords um we uh do a lot of interviews we have live shows uh usually wednesday nights uh <laughs> friday nights and sunday nights so check out our channel uh, we really love to have uh you know anybody who wants to check us out thank you and please like and subscribe to our channels and platforms if you would appreciate that uh, guys after tonight i'm going to be like making sure everyone at stranger comics and on our side knows who the fuck you guys are and to subscribe and like and all the things a hundred percent um we're, we're gonna i'll make sure i make a note of it in our next newsletter to we have you know a decent amount of folks in our newsletter um so yes i will make sure that is um uh, there for you guys um and thanks to you guys. Yeah, we're only 20, 25 backers away from hitting the the goal. Um, um, Macario it says your your thing is spinning. I don't see um, I don't see it uh, come through yet, Macario. I don't see it, bro. And Josh, yeah, Stone, if you like different joints, don't forget you can add on to any pledge you like get. So if you want to get the Tahani Fast Silver Bundle deal, the Far Out deal, the Gold and Silver deal. They're on massive discount. That's what I recommend, you know. Uh, let me do this. Uh, how do I wait? What the hell? There we go. Is that the? Yes. Okay. Let's so from anyone who's watching us from the Black Comic Lords platform, um, this is StrangerCon. This gentleman right here is Sebastian Jones, the writer and creator of Stranger Comics. Um, this is brilliant work. Uh, we talk about in our space all the time how you we want something different than what mainstream comics gives you this 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 gentleman is is doing beyond fantastic work and we were just talking earlier about how he has characters a fantasy world with people that look like us a woman who is the lead character um these stories are fantastic this art is brilliant and as i've said many times before you'll, you won't find covers in comics that are better than stranger comics um the black that he has our full support as black comic lords and we encourage all of you to support what he's doing over at stranger comics as well so um i don't want to say more than that but Thank please you. go ahead and pledge and, and back this this uh this endeavor that he's got going on right now please i i appreciate that very much um a facebook user Later shopping for parents. Uh, if you do just as a heads up in the first day, you will get this Wu Tang Nabishi Tribe homage for free. The interiors, I haven't even shown you guys real quick. I was meant to do this Please. earlier. So here are some interiors of Nabishi Tribe. So you can actually see how it looks inside the book as well. I got all this teed up and I was like, oh yeah, I haven't done any yeah, of that shit. I noticed we haven't done that. Yeah, I haven't done any of that. I've just, oh, I've got, I've, I even printed like art prints of this shit, bro. It's, uh, I've just been all over the place. Okay, so here you go. So that is uh, without the uh, without the uh, lettering or my, uh, word, me and Tuso are words. Is that, is that Kane and White? Kane and White, bro. Oh yeah, you, you can tell that artwork from anywhere. Yeah, uh, we took, um, it's 32 pages, so it took us a long time. A very long time. But uh, 
32 pages of cane and white and blondes interiors. So there is the that right there. And I'll show you a couple of other sample pages from She Tribe right here. That's absolutely beautiful. Who's doing the coloring? Um, so it's um, it's our main colorist. Uh, it's a guy called Blonde. He's been around for a really long time. He's phenomenal. Phenomenal. Hey, you guys on the Instagram. We are Kickstarters Live. We If we hit 300 backers before I sign off at 8 o'clock, everyone that's pledged on the first day is going to get something extra for free. And come over because you're going to get this Wuamash for free on the Kickstarter. We're also on StrangerCon on YouTube. Um, here, check this next page out. It is kind of ridiculous. Or here's a series. Here's a few random pages smat, you know, spattered throughout the uh, issue. So if you like the look of that, guys, you want to get She Tribe issue one. Even if you just get one comic book, this is a great one to get. God, it fit. the art is fantastic. And uh, Daryl May, who did that or those original uh, original that we just sold, he did all the layouts. So our layout artist Daryl literally lays out every single comic we have, and then we work different artists. They come on and they put their beautiful finishing uh, touches. And obviously, Kanan is uh, ridiculous. It's, and, uh, it's 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 not a lot of people that get Kenan White to do interiors. Just so a lot of you people know, I mean, <laughs> yep, that that brother does a lot of uh, cover work, but not a lot of interiors. It's hard to get him to do interiors, and this is brilliant. So there's a little glimpse into uh, She Tribe, Nabi She Tribe, and the other one on this Kickstarter is Tales of a Son of the Disciple. One of the new joints by Alex Patterson and Blonde, who did your Akira homage. So here's a couple of sample pages from this book as well. And then a future issue of Naibi Endura done by Sheldon, who did the wraparound, looks a little like that. Oh my God. <laughs> and if you didn't, did you guys get Nibundura issue two? I'm gonna. So I'm, things I just bought. No, it's not on the. It's not on the Kickstarter. It was on the last Kickstarter. I'm gonna show you a. I'm gonna show you a panel from that. I'm gonna give you guys an opportunity to get Nibundura issue one and two for really cheap for an additional pledge, and it's gonna blow your mind. All right, here's a. That's issue two. Ooh. It's actually in Naibin Dura issue two, it shows you how Naobi and Vast sorry, Dura and Vastar essentially created the world of Asunder. It's absolutely fantastic. So I have um, let's see, where is it? Um the, is there a thing to me favor, bro? Yep. Can you go into the uh, the room, the, the main room, the middle room? Yep. On the on your immediate left, you'll see a um, a silver surf homage. Okay. You can see that. Left. Yeah, immediate left. You see a silver surf homage, and then I need a Nagander issue one. Oh, here it is. I got it. I did bring it. Here you go. So if you want to get, speaking of cane and white. Um, I'm going to need an issue one of Nagandura. If you can just grab me one uh, from the table somewhere. Uh, no, yeah, that, that one for my ego or the Jay Lee joint. No, that one. Either anyone's fine. They're all beautiful. This one? Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Well, I'll show them the Jay Lee. Jay Lee? Okay. All right. So I'm going to give you guys an opportunity for $20 only to add to your pledge. I've I'm going to give you two guys. Anyone in the chat, guys, can get this deal. Are you ready? All right. Here's something crazy for you. Anyone in the chat for $20 can get right now Naibin Dura issue one, the J. Lee, the one I was reading from you. Remember, she tribe do not trust the word because it is written. That's in this issue there. $20, J. Lee. And I'm going to give you basically for free because it's $20 for both. 
right now on StrangerCon, flip a Kane and White <laughs> Silver Surfer for homage. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. So if you guys want to spend an extra $20 right now, I'm going to give you both of these for just $20 right there. Like okay, that. and we just got apparently 300 likes on the stream. Oh, sick. And we're 279 backers. We're really close to 45,000. We're really close to 300 backers. You guys are killing it. All right, what I'm going to do is this, guys. If you guys want to up your place by $20 by getting something else for $20, I'm going to let you guys get a Nibin Dura issue one and two for free before issue three drops next. Mark Robinson, because you asked, what do you get for the 300th like? I love I love the balls on that, so fuck it. I'm going to give you <laughs> this right here, Tales of Sunday issue one by Iga Oluwiak. So Mark Robinson, the 300th like. All right, I'm going to, you got to message me though, because I'm not going to remember any of this shit. I'm going to write it down. If you're not following us, make sure you follow us at Stranger Comics on IG. Send me a DM or email me at strangerstrangercomics.com. And I'm going to do eager trade dress of TOA1 for being the 300th like for free. And I just need your address. All right. Um, blip. And because we're at 300. Um, 300 uh, likes on this Instagram. What I'm going to do for you guys is, with the 300 like on Instagram, I'm going to give every single person a mini print, a mini print. Kenneth Jackson, how do I link back the Kickstarter? Thank you. Black Commodores, you guys are amazing. Thank you. Um, this is the link right here. Uh, Kenneth, that's where you go. We're going to, uh, and then you just choose whichever pledge you like, and we will give you a free one of these as a gift for backing the pledge. There is bundle read deals, new stuff, and all sorts of fun things. Because we hit 300 likes, I'm going to give any everybody, you know what we should do, as it's Akira crazy, we'll do a mini art print um, of the Akira, and everybody will get a mini art print of the Akira to go with it. I think that's that's the move. That's and cool. you know what? We'll do something else too. Fuck it, because I want to do a mini print of this anyway. Josh, every, because everyone that's back the Kickstarter, because we hit 300 likes, a mini print of that Akira would do the mini Akira. What's up, Drew Boaz? Yeah, I thought you'd be down for that. We'll also do an ex, a mini art print of the one Iga Oluyak has done in honor of my mother rest in peace and i'll show you what it looks like if you haven't seen it we'll do a mini art print of this right here so you're gonna mini art print of this beautiful original painting of my mum. that's crazy oh, that's wow. beautiful beautiful the hell of a homage man it, it's yeah it's uh she's yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of fucked me up a little bit. It's uh, my mum is uh, an angel now. Yeah. So everyone, guys, is going to get a mini art print of that one of my mum and the Akira homage as a gift for you guys. And Mark Robinson's getting an extra comic book for being the three hundredth like. Um, <laughs> BCL. <okay. yeah. laughs> Sure. Um, so okay, mini mini prints for you, for, mini prints for everybody of mum and eager OG TOA one. Okay, um, yeah, thank you so much, guys. And and we so guys, um, folks that are joining, um, that we have obviously kind of bundle deal discounts where if you're new. And you want to get all sorts of trade paperbacks you can get a whole bundle of trade paperbacks on discount in the chat at the end of the um survey you'll we'll sign we sign everything for free all right so everything's signed for free you can get three trades on a low level one or you can get all seven for a high level one that's what you can get right there um also we have the hardcover deals as well we've got all sorts of hardcover deals where we've got the beautiful legend set hardcovers, the Kickstarter editions, they're a bit more pricey. Like, check out how dope this one is of Naibishir's death. 
you're gonna you're gonna die when you see it check it out <laughs> oh man yeah, yeah that's crazy now um somebody <laughs> brought it up um that uh, there's a very famous comic called nubia that has a very similar cover yes right there it does it does right the same golden shield behind the same legs crossing and also one person and i was like oh that's cool that looks kind of familiar that's dope i'm into rising tide raises all ships um but check this out if you want this right here the hardcover is ridiculous yeah that's the business there so you can get the special edition hardcovers guys on the kickstarter you've got legend sets bundle deals all sorts of stuff to get you into the world of asunder and um, you can actually read all the things right all the things so we are 21 we have 21 more to go for 300 backers before eight o'clock before i head out uh crap let me you see. Not be able to see that with my uh my virtual thing screwing everything up but it, uh yes that's the one that's the one right? that is the one indeed indeed um so yeah um let's see um, bum, bum, bum. um thank you thank you thank you Whew, good lord we're getting there folks <laughs> we're getting there we're 21 away from 300 backers 21 away from 300 backers i haven't done any um you know i should do i should actually do a post on facebook i've done i've done a few have you yeah have you um any of your uh, oh yeah some of my people already back they have yeah oh jolly good. I don't know, um i don't know any family specifically but i know i got a bunch of friends have already backed it oh that's cool um i know there's some big big backers our usual uh, crew haven't yet um, oh really yeah 300 backers day one uh freebies um ah don't um don't for Bingo. Okay, there we go. All right, done that. And then I'll just, I guess, um, I'll put that in the Stranger Comics group as well. Wild day, man. Wild day. It's very crazy to do, like, launch a Kickstarter and a Stranger Con on the same day. It's just the uh, logistics have been... <laughs> uh, craziness what's up guys on instagram what's up melissa what's up everybody we are on the kickstarter and we are on the youtube lives come on over to youtube back the kickstarter get your day one freebies we're trying to hit 300 backers today um trying to hit the 300 backers can you show one and two again that were 20 dollars uh yes kevin i can it is um i was doing the uh where i put it down here we go it is these two right here i just did something crazy dan's like can we start stranger con all over again i love dan oh geez. i just yes yeah, it's, it's people so, love it they really love it, they, they dig it. there you go J Lee number one purple claw and the silver surfer joint that's kind of crazy stupid and then if you want to upgrade i will make it 40 and i will throw in the virgin edition for free as well and the version edition guys just so you see it has all the gods that's the difference the trade dress is faithful no gods the virgin has all the gods watching including the original untamed right there watching the creation of the world of asunder right there Pretty amazing. So if you want to level up to 40, I will do Virgin and Trade Dress. And essentially, I'm throwing that in for free at that point. So crazy, crazy, crazy. Oh, and I do have, we don't have many of these left. So I will just show it to you. I have a foil edition of it. If you, 
So we add $40 to our pledge. Yes, correct, Kevin, indeed. Or you buy something else for $40. So you just let me know, but you have to let me know you did it. So um, if you guys want to get uh, the virgin edition of this right here, this is 50 bucks. Stick on $50 on the Kickstarter, and I will give you this for free. So you're going to buy, you're going to get a $50 reward, and I'll throw this in as a gift just for doing that, which is crazy. So all sorts of extra things. Guys, Macario says, um, my, uh, I think he said it's uh, finally got to go through. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing. We're at 280 backers, I believe. Let me see what you got. Macario is a, me is a metal fiend, so I was very, very curious to see what he got. All right, he did the uh, retailer bundle. What? <laughs> That's cool. You get 10 comics of your choice. It's actually pretty smart. Um, and then Macario, if you want, you can add on. Recap. Yeah, let's start all over again. Macario, you can add on any metal you want. You can add on any reward you want. All right. And the more you spend, remember, the more free stuff you get. That's that's. That's the that's the uh, that's the move. The more you spend, the more free stuff you get. Yeah, yeah. I lost after four pizza bites. Um, so yeah, if you upgrade your pledge, guys, these are the ones I recommend to get. Because Tahani Far is becoming a legend, and I'm doing these on f massive discount. These metals should be one fifty each. I'm doing all four silver medals for 297 of these four, these two, sorry, of the, for the disciple and these two ridiculous ones of Nadami and Niobe. Look at that. It's wild. And then after this Kickstarter is done, there'll only be 10 of these. So get on the Kickstarter. We're 20 away from everybody getting something extra. And I haven't even thought where that is yet. So uh, make make my brain go into overload even more. Those are the ones I rec really highly recommend the Tahani Far joints. And if you back, also, guys, don't forget, um, Brian's like, fine, I added a metal. I wanted that. The wraparound is sick. Yes, it is crazy. This should be. 150 for a double metal, right? Like we did with the Tribe Called Quest joint. This is only a hundred dollars. That's Yetide, that's right. That's what I ordered. Is it what you got? This one you got. It's, yeah. it's Yetide is on Instagram. Hey, darling. Um, the, we're still on StrangerCon here too. So Kevin added forty dollars. Where do I share my backer number for the three hundred backer items? Uh, um, if you can email stranger at strangercomics.com your email address your ig name your backer number all those things or dm me at stranger at uh, stranger comics dm me at stranger comics add on any metal you want guys this wraparound metal should be 150 that is ridiculous so i recommend you can also don't forget you can also add on early birds. So if you're like, fuck, I need to get early birds. So Macario, what I want to sh share with you guys is if you want to get an early bird, you can add on the early bird level. So don't miss out on the opportunity to get you. You don't have to just choose one reward. You can get a reward and you can add on extra things. So add on the early birds while these these Ivan Towers are super, super discounted. And you can also get the David Mack discounted. The David Mack discounted. So you can add on early bird levels. And remember, again, the money does not come out until the end of the campaign, guys. That's something to really clock when the end of the, the campaign comes. Um, make sure you um, don't, uh, you know, your, your, your card's ready, all that kind of stuff, right? So they said I have a question. Yeah, if, sure, you order the, if you order the metal one, do you get yes, to sir. select which one you want later on? Yes, exactly. So that's how it works? Okay. Yes, exactly. It comes, it comes in, the, in the survey at the very end. Okay. Now, we do a 1J claw with uh, Silver Surfer 
um, Virgin and Trade. And that's for Kevin Anderson. Okay. Yeah, so uh, you can pledge for early freebies today and then have some time to save up for it. Exactly. Um, Danger Daphne says, sorry I'm late, but I just pledged and I'm here looking for all the horses. Okay. Oh, man. Do we have four? It's the other cover that we knew for the retail edition. This is a really, this is our, our regular, our, our base level cover for the Disciple by uh, Alex Patterson, who does Akira and Blonde which is beautiful. And here's the metal of it. It's stunning. The other version is the one with the horses. Daryl, uh, Sharon wants a horse. Quickly draw a horse, mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Neff says, how do I order the $20 comics you just showed? So what you do, Neff, is you basically add $20 to your pledge by basically getting another item right? Just getting another item. And then um, that's got $20 value. And I'm going to give you that as a gift for free. You just have to let me know you did it. Okay, my love. So you just have to let me know you did it. And guys, if we get to 300 backers today, in the next hour and five minutes, every first day backer is going to get something else I haven't even thought of yet. We're at 20 backers away. So back the Kickstarter. We're 20 backers away. Back the Kickstarter and everybody else is going to get something extra. So we're 20 backers away. And uh, somebody else, we're going to get more things, more things. Um, it's hard to be a salesman and a creator, you know. Somebody said it's hard to be a I don't know. Um, Yes, 20, 20 backers away, and all day one backers are going to get something else extra. I'm looking at you, IG people. I'm looking at you guys in the in the chat. Keep spreading the word, guys. Ed Double 74, what's up, what's up on Instagram? Back the Kickstarter right now. We're 20 backers away from multiple freebies, and you get this woo homage for free. Do not miss out. Do not miss out. Get all these things. Get onto the Kickstarter now. Yeah, I've, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I've been struggling. I, you know, I've been learning how to sell. It's been a bit, bit of a struggle recently, but, um, you know, I just, I just do what I can, bro. Ed Double 74, the Kickstarter is live. It is in the, in the uh, link in the bio, um, but also come to StrangerCon to get your Akira homages, guys. Akira homages. And if you're a first time reader, you want to get the trade paperback bundle or the hardcovers. And we have another amazing guest in the chat. He's a handsome man. He's got a great haircut. I can see him right there. A man I love dearly. Um, I'm going to bring on uh, Tony in a second. Um, the, the whole Stranger Crew is meant to be on. Uh, Daryl looks like he's about to collapse. But we can... Uh, yes, we do have a Naibi sword. Um, Shen Exo. We'll do it at, we'll do it at um, maybe 7.30. Just, uh, we'll, oh, we'll, okay. we'll bring the Stranger Comics crew at 7.30. Um, so you can get this right here. Bop, bop, bop. And thank you, yeah. I also have a Patreon. That's true. Thank you for backing the Patreon, Joshua. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we have the Naibi Sword. Uh, it is... Hey, Derek, I don't know if you yeah. can find it. Can you grab me the a Naibi uh, live-action role-playing sword? Handy, and we have the stands too, guys. All the things. Yeah, they're probably in the corner. They might be in the other room. All right, and I'll see what else I'm going to throw at you guys. We're 20 backers away. We're 19 backers away, and we're $500 away from the next um, stretch goal. The next stretch goal, which is seven random silvers inserted um in and <laughs> that sounds wrong and three more trading cards our trading card packs are great soul of ice what okay here is this the niobe swords yeah be humble jay the stands are on the kickstarter they're on the add-on section the stands are on the kickstarter they're on the add-on sections also drew on instagram these are on 
the uh, all the new coffee mugs are on the uh, at, on the Kickstarter in the add-on section. The add-on section. Shen XO, it says it's four o'clock where he's at. I think you're in South Africa, right? Um, and he's like trying to sleep but couldn't. You were you were lured by the dulcet tones of my um, monitor, <laughs> my uh, fa my raspy voice at this point. I can't, guys. I literally haven't slept really. In the Priscilla, Priscilla Nash says I love swords. I've got some sword. Yeah, I, I love swords too. Um, get me in trouble. Um, Celeste is like shameless, shameful. Celeste says I'm shameful. It's very true. Indeed, I am. Um, so what we should do next, let's get some folks hyped on another kind of bundly, bundly thing. Thank you so much for staying, guys. I appreciate you guys. We, 19 we, folks away. We appreciate being here, Seb, and thank you for having us. Um, we're going get, to get, get going. Richard, you're ready to go? Yes, it's been wonderful. Glad to be a part of history and glad to be a part of the movement that is Stranger Con. <laughs> I appreciate it. Had a blast. You had a blast. I, 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 hope we were, I hope we're able to help to some degree today. You guys are literally amazing. Absolutely amazing. I appreciate you guys big time, really. And, and for folks in the chat, too, that don't have a lot of dough that want to check us out, if you want to just spend five bucks, we do have a $5 download reward. Um, so you can check out Kanan's um, Nabi she five bucks. You can get download She Tribe, uh, the, this uh, She Tribe one right here. You can download that for five bucks, and you can get into the world of Asunder for five bucks. Yeah. So if you don't have a lot of dough and you want to see what we're about, and you want to get thirty-two dope pages of Nabi She Tribe, co-written by Tusa and Bedu of the Woman King and me get that for five bucks and that gets you uh gets us closer to 300 backers and you will not be disappointed i promise you. not at all <laughs> not at all appreciate thanks it. again for the invite we're gonna bounce we take care of it thank you thank you thank you for the support appreciate guys. you man appreciate you guys have a great night great weekend peace, peace guys bye Woo! amazing those guys are phenomenal that's so that's super super kind um so I'm going to bring on a lovely, lovely, lovely gentleman um, who did the very first ever Comic-Con exclusive with Dahani Farr at San Diego, right, in uh, two years ago. Tony, can you hear me? Tony's frozen. He's like, he's uh, he's logged in. He's over it. There he yeah. is. I'm here. I'm here. How you doing? What's up, bro? How are you doing? You're all blurry. You're all blurry. Why are you blurry? I don't know. Everything looks fine on my side. Does it? Is it me? I, I shouldn't be blurry. I you, know oh you're coming in better now. Okay, I've got the early bird level two plus she tribe wrap around. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's amazing. You guys are phenomenal. We're 19 pledges away from 300 backers. We are closing in. We're 400 away from the next stretch goal. Thank you so very much, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome um, to the, the evening hour. Um, this is my good friend, Tony, uh, the Skeleton Key crew, and uh, who did, we did a Tahani Far San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, and Tony and Sammy were on our um, first StrangerCon, I believe, when Tahani came on, and mm -hmm. she did two sketches, one which became our Patreon exclusive, and one which became your guys' San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Yeah, that was amazing. Uh, it was really nice uh, seeing her and talking with her. She's super nice. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, Priscilla Nash, if you remember, I hung out with I her. Yeah. yeah, she said, When's Anthony coming to the convention? I really like him. He's really nice. And he said, uh, You know, be nice to me or something, but let's, uh, we can get into that on another time. You have you have my back, bro. You're very, very sweet. Yeah, well, of course. Why not? <laughs> and how how are you, bro? How's it? And look, Tony's look at that, guys. Tony has the special edition hardcovers behind him on the shelf of Buxton and Niobe peeking out um, 
uh, which is a big deal, man. Actually, it's a big honor to be on your shelf of um, glory, you know? Yeah, we, uh, we try to like change things around every once in a while. This is my newest edition right here. First Constantine that Sam got me. Oh, oh cool. That's awesome. And what's that behind you? What's the on the to your right shoulder? I believe is that a uh, sketch? Oh, this yes. is right here. Yeah. That what do you think? Is... That one. Just knock one down. So, oh, oh. Like a Stan Sakai little box of. Yeah. That's cool. Yes, because uh, I was wondering if it was the Stan, uh, um, the one Daryl got you for uh, the Stan Sakai original. Um, I have something over here somewhere that's cool this right here. oh no that's uh, that one i have a couple of sketches of, of stand stuff do you really that's cool that's awesome um so yeah guys if you want to back the kickstarter um we are going to be bringing on in about uh 15 minutes we'll bring on the stranger comics crew we are 19 backers away from 300 backers and if we hit 300 backers in the next hour, I'm going to give every single day one backer something extra. All right. Every single backer, something extra. We're 19 backers away. Spread the word. Um, if you want more free stuff in addition to the Javen Jordan exclusive for being a day one backer. If you're not a day one backer, jump on this now. Become a day one backer. Get the Javen Jordan exclusive as a gift. And uh, if you also are on StrangerCon, you can get the Akira homage for free, right? You get the Akira homage for free. And you get, if you're on StrangerCon and you're a day one backer, you will also get the Spirit Runes edition right there for free. Um, hey, do you want to get a chance? Can you shut the curtains now? Yep. Just because it's getting um, a little... Uh, Conflicty, conflicty. So get all of the things. Now, Just easier. yeah, you can do those ones there for sure to start with. Now, what I'm going to do is something also kind of fun. What's up, Fat T in the uh, IGs? What's up, everybody? We are 19 backers away from the magical number of 300 before Betty buys, before I go to the pub. And then uh, we will be bringing on more folks. Let's make that 18 backers away. Was that you, Tony? Uh, no, I'm scrolling through right now to see which one I like the most. Uh, mm. I think I like the the mother's hand looks really really dope. Uh, the one of my mom, or what the uh, the uh, the one we got the mother's hand. Oh yes, so we've got two mother's hands. We've got this what this edition. We've got obviously the paper edition. We've got the Tahani metal editions, um, and there's one in honor of my mom, which is a thirty dollar joint by Igor Oluwiak. Um, so you've got the Tahani editions and you've got the Eager editions. Yeah, I you like also, the, the one looks really good. The which one? The Eager. The Eager one is amazing. And you yeah. saw these ones by Tahani there. Yeah. Disciple. They're freaking crazy. So. The Kickstarter. Yeah, what's up, Fatty? Jump on over to StrangerCon, guys. Jump on over, jump on over. Those ones are Tahani too, right? Those ones are Tahani too. Yeah, we have a Tahani crazy bundle deal of all four Tahanis. Yeah. Um, it's a bit pricier, but it is, I think it is $69. $69. Yeah. Yeah. I, that's, I like that one because uh, obviously the first one you showed is more like the style that she started with, you know? Yes. Uh, right, right, this right. This style really caught my attention, especially with the, the colors. And this one is... Um, so this is the gold edition of that. I mean, the table is called. Oh, here it is. Here's the tray. Imagine the. So here's the Tahani. Um, uh, one of two, so, which has got the kind of like the galaxy, um, galaxy tummy right there. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, super pretty. The just so you can see it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Look how pretty that is. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, so yeah, the, the four Tahani joints um, are the 69 uh, joints. And um, what I think I'm gonna do guys is also, we also have the early birds as well. I don't know if you're an early bird, if you're an Ivan Tao fan, but we've got these early birds on the Ive um, editions as well. 
What kind of stuff do you get in the mystery box? Mystery box, you basically get a hundred, a minimum of a hundred dollars worth of stuff. And we, it's Quincy. So he generally goes overboard and always throws a metal in there too. Some really rare shit where someone's like, Hey, I got a gold. So, and so I'm like, that's $500 dude. And they spent 50. Um, the mystery boxes are honestly crazy. And, uh, if we hit, I think a certain level on the stretch goal, all the mystery got boxes are going to definitely get a random vault merit variant. And uh, as you know, uh, you know, this is another eager joint as well from the lot previous campaign. So yeah, mystery boxes are great choices. A lot of folks get that as an add on They, you know, cause they're like, we really hook people up for the mystery boxes. Um, and as you guys know, um, if we, if you get, if you spend $25, $25, I'm going to give this for free as a gift, this art print for free, you spend $25, you get that art print for free. If you spend $50, I'm going to give you, um, where are you? Another comic for free, which has just disappeared. It's too much shit on the table now. If you spend uh, $100, I'm going to give you a couple of Akira art prints for free. $150 of Vault Metal for free. $300 a Daryl May sketch for free. And $500 the Untamed Hands. So the more you guys spend, the more you guys are going to get stuff for free on StrangerCon, guys. We have 50 minutes to go to get all your extra items. I think what I'll also do is let's do this because we want to try and hit the next stretch goal of 45,000. Okay, so let me try something a little wild. All right, we're at 283 backers. We're 17 away. Question the early bird said on Dahani Silver, there's four of them. Yes. So be humble, Jay. $300 is not the early bird edition. The early bird, it is the Tahani Far Out Silver Metal Edition is $300. So the Tahani Far Far Out Edition for the four Silver Tahanis is $300. The early birds are a different level, but you can add, you can get both if you want to get an early bird and then add the Tahanis or do the Tahani Silver Joint and then add the early birds. And there are four different early bird editions. All righty. Um, so... What metal do we get at 150? It's a it's Shay. It is random. It is random, random, and I always do a a um, a remark on the mystery box. You get I'll do a remark, an original remark from me on the um, uh, on the mystery box, making it a one of a kind mystery box. Um, all right. So let me see. What I'm going to do is let's do this. Has anyone at a con, I know they ask you a lot to sign stuff. Uh, sure. Does anyone ask you to draw yourself? Yes, uh, a, but not, 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 not often, but the people that know that I do remarks. Yeah, I didn't know that was an option. I'm really excited about it now. <laughs> Are you really? Yeah. Yeah, it's, pretty good. It, it's, they're kind of hilarious. They're, they're kind of a unique kind of, uh, they're called Seb marks. And sometimes it's just me with a fro and the, and the, the three quarter turn. And sometimes I put myself in a wizard's outfit or, uh, you know, um, bald headed and tribal, you know, uh, or, or stranger, you know, like stranger in the untamed. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, I like to change it up. It's fun. It's super fun. Um, what I'm going to do for you guys, the Jared Leto. Yes. Thank Thank you. I'm very, very Jared Leto ish. Um, I'm like a C minus Jared Leto. Uh, where is the, uh, God, I don't know. Chris has everything so well organized, and I'm just so overwhelmed, which is cool. Look at these. I mean, even this is dope, right? Look at that. For an art print, how cool is this shit? And do you have both of those in covers, or is it just the one? Yes. One? No, we have both of those in covers. So that is the Wu regular homage, the black on yellow. Sorry, the, the gold on black is limited to just 100 copies. You're going to get this one for, for day, being a day one backer for free as a gift. But the gold on black is limited to 100 copies. I think it's a $30 joint because there's only 100 copies. 
Nonfiction, thank you. So that's a great, yeah, that's a great one there too. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is, so here is the, the gold edition of those. So for folks that want to splurge and get and get gold and get crazy, got that joint right there. But I think what I'm going to do is, let's see. Oh, you know what, Daryl, can you do me a favor? Can you bring me these tahanis over there? I'm going to do this, guys. I'm going to do a little bit something a little bit crazy. If you guys, I'll let two people do this. Which one? Bring me those tahanis right there. We're, we're in front. Thank you. If you guys want to get the CBSI set, spend 100 extra dollars. Yeah, no, it's for the kids. Um, spend $100 extra on your kickstarter and i will throw in this cbsi set for free two people can do this if you don't have the cbsi super rare exclusive cbsi set spend a hundred dollars on the kickstarter i'm going to gift you these for free for free for free thank you very much spend a hundred extra dollars on the kickstarter two people can get a CBSI Untamed number one, Nibi number one, CBSI connecting set for free. I let two people claim that crazy deal. All right, Rick's on. Um, and then I will bring, we'll start bringing uh, Quinty uh, if you want to tell Quinty to get on. Yeah. And uh, I'll go. Oh, I will also say, guys, I've got to, I, I want to show you something else too. If you don't have this, all righty um do we have one oh we don't have a copy of it here mm -mm. Okay. cbsi set for carol you got it carol thank you 100 dollars extra please on the kickstarter and i will write that down thank you so very much carol Josh, if you've got that too, please. The CBSI set for $100. CBSI set, add $100. Um, and uh, Josh wants to know, Carol, what you add. And Fat T is the other person, $100. Add $100 to Fat T as well. There you go. All right. Bloom, $100. Those to you guys. Those are those two joints there. That gets us even closer to the next stretch goal, which is 45K. And we are 17 backers away, guys. 17 backers away from 300 backers. And if you back the Kickstarter today, you get the Woo Homage for free. Make sure you keep spreading the link, guys. Keep spreading the link. How many uh is there a limit to how many original sketch covers people can get no no we want so daryl working bro so we could just get daryl going for for weeks at a time then huh yeah 100 percent. yeah the last the last time we did this he did um i think 35 sketches more. no it was more right in the end i've had some more like on the really christmas one i do like 100 dude so okay fatty no worries no worries All right. Um, let uh, we have Richard Thornsbury in the chat as well. I'm going to do. We have an amazing guest in the chat. Here he comes. Let's bring Richard Thorns. Yeah, no worries. I got you, Fatty. All cancelled. All good, brother. Let's bring. This is Richard Thornsbury. Hey, uh, can you grab um, the Deaf Dealers? Can you, I, I don't know, bro. I just ask you. Um. I am I uh, no clue where anything is. Ask um, I don't I don't know if they're on the table. Just ask him because uh, I they are Patreon exclusives. But Rick is a guest, so I want to bring him on and give you guys a chance to get some really rare uh, Death Dealer homages. Um, Let's see. Oh, and check this out, uh, Tony. See the cover Daryl did? 
the new one for the Kickstarter. Yeah. That's crazy. That's so good. Yeah. What's that little uh what's that little thing on uh, next to your finger? In oh, the, what's this? No, the, the, that, the, the, yeah, the other hand. Not not the middle. Yeah, next to your finger there. What what is that? This, this here? Wait, this one? one? No, 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 where your finger's this touching one? the comic. The not metal one. Oh, um he's holding a dagger, basically. And he's cut his belly open and cast a spell. See, with his right hand, he's cast a spell. His left hand, he's basically uh, cut his belly open to green. He's basically doing a summons to con try and uh, mind control um, Morkamoa. Thrag. Oh, Thrag, I mean, he's, sorry. Yeah, he's, he's manipulating the war troll. He's player. manipulating the war troll. This is a ghost variant on this one, too. Like, can, could you uh, grab me the metal joints of those two? Okay, where's the metal box? Um, is that the metal box? Um, it is, but I don't know if they're in This the... is where there's no metals in here, but these are the homage. Yeah, I just asked 20 for the metal. I don't think they're in there. But I'm going to do... I know folks are big fans of Rick's uh, metals. Uh, the Death Dealers, we're going to bring out options for folks to get some very rare death dealer joints can't go wrong with a uh, frazetta all right so q can we do you have do we have the metal death dealers here too bro these are all the metals that would be in here if they're here the metal death dealer, isn't it? Too? That's the metal box. Um, no, not in that one. Woo! 17 backers away, folks. 17 backers away. Wild. Is adding a silver metal for 99 close enough? Yes, sure, Carol. That's fine. No worries at all. 100%. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Need new Erethun and Assessor stories. Indeed. Oh, thank you. I got the paper joints. Sarah gave me these ones for I need the, just the metal edition of it. Oh, these are the Rick sets? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Give me those bad boys too. Thank you. I just need the... Uh, the um, Death dealer methods. I don't know if they, I don't know if I saw them in this box. Oh, good lord! No, I haven't touched them. I haven't pulled out any death dealers. I promise. Dara's metal is, is <laughs> the colors are sexy as fuck. It's very true. The table's looking explody. All right, so um, let's do this. We'll bring on, yeah, be humble, Jay's like, I know you're tired, so it's it's true, it's true. Pub, pub is going to be so good tonight. So good. <laughs> um, okay, so what I do have here is, let's see if I want to do any more of those. Okay, let's get a little, uh, before we bring uh, Rick Rick on, <laughs> yeah, I knew you'd hate that. Um, I have a couple of things to share with you. As you guys are fans, thank you, Carol, I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, so... I'm going to give you guys an opportunity to get two. All right, two people, two people can claim. You guys might as well just click claim right now before he even says. Um, this is signed by Tahani and Tuso on the Comic-Con Africa exclusive. 
So Tuso signed this in South Africa. We printed this in South Africa. Tuso signed it and uh, Tahani signed it. This is a level up opportunity. Two people can claim this. Um, I will do this for, this is this is super rare at this, this point with Tuso signature. I will do this for you for $80. To, thank you. That's all. Awesome. Oh, that's not bad. I thought you were going to say more. Yeah, no, it's not bad. $80. Two people can claim it. Printed in South Africa. The Comic-Con Africa preview exclusive. Two people can claim it with Tuso signature and Tahani signature. Do you know the print run off the top of your head of the one? Um, with the 200. I think we printed 200. Oh, that's really low. Yeah. It is a steal, be humble, Jay. It is a steal. Claim for frustrated fan sports show. You got it. Thank you so much. That's like a double claim. He's like, I'm claim, I'm claim, claim. Um, who are you on Instagram? Is this Taters? Who is this? Like losing my pens, losing everything. This table suddenly just said, fuck it, and exploded. Uh, make sure you come over to the Kickstarter, guys. Back it. If you, we get, we need it 300 backers. If we hit 300 backers, you get more free stuff and you come and get the Wu Tang homage for free. Come on over to the Kickstarter, guys. And uh, Half Dead Custom says, I want that. All right. Let me see. Um, so let's see if I've got more than those two. Fuck, you know, where have I put everything down? Oh, okay. Boom, boom. Let me see if I have, let me see Half Dead Customs if I can do that. I have two claimers. No, I have, okay. Frustrated fans claim and Half Dead Customs claim. I got two people to claim it. So, guys, what you do is you have to put $80 on the Kickstarter. So basically buy $80 worth of cool shit on the Kickstarter, but spend $80 on the Kickstarter, and I'm going to give you this as a gift for free, all right? So $80. I just need to know your backer number, all right? So $80, CCA, Tuso, and Tahani um, for Half Dead Customs. You got it. Half Dead Customs on IG, Josh. Half underscore dead. No, sorry. Half Dead underscore Customs on IG. I just need to know your backer number, Half Dead Customs. And I need to know your backer number, Frustrated Fan Sports Show. And um, good Lord, that's a mouthful. So we, mu we must know your name in order for us to be able to give you this uh, right here. Ed Double Seventy Four, thank you so much. Just back the Kickstarter for one ten. Whoop whoop! Thank you so very much. All right, holy shit! We are fifteen away from three uh, from three hundred backers, and we have less just over half an hour to get fifteen backers. All right, and we are. Just under 45 grand, guys. Just under 45 grand. Let's go. Thank you so much. Ed Double, you get a whole bunch of free stuff for backing that today. Thank you so very much. Okay, we just lost a pledge. <laughs> yeah, I love that shit. That always happens. All right. So I've got Half Dead Customs, Frustrated Fan Sports Show. And I have a quick swig of the water. Losing pledges is always like, oh, really? What oh, God, Reggie. Bro, by the end of it, you bet you jet. If we do like um, when we do like a eighty thousand Kickstarter, we'll probably lose about five thousand in in drop pledges ac across the way. You're like, what? We lose? We lost that? Hey, what's up, teams? How you doing, bro? Good to see you. We're still on the Kickstarter joint right here, and we're doing. We're adding, folks. We're doing. Uh, we're doing additional goodies you can get. All right, additional goodies you can get. So we are at 284 backers. We have 16 backers away. We're really close to 45,000. We're back up to 285 backers. Thank you so much for who just pledged. Um, and uh, we are less than $100 away from 
uh, the next Kickstarter um, stretch goal. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to, before we bring Rick on, because I know he <laughs> just fucking hates me. He hates me. It's kind of, it sucks. He hates me so much. All right. I have one silver Tahani Far signature edition of Dusu. Thank you, darling. Good night, sweetheart. Good night, Priscilla. Sleep well, sweetheart. I'm going to be off in about half an hour. All right. There you go. Tahani Far silver Dusu edition. Silver Dusu edition. This silver edition is normally $100. So guess what? I'm going to do this right now for $100 with Tahani's signature on it. Right? Tahani's signature. If someone wants to claim this, one person can claim this right now. Go and add another $100 on your Kickstarter, and I will give you this Tahani signature do sue silver i will is go that in. run of 50 uh silver is pre run of 25 25 okay <laughs> this one's 25 i'm gonna do something even crazier this gold i believe the print run on this one is either i got i think this one print one is 10 on this one the gold i will do the gold and silver right now of these two Dusu Tahani's for 250. 250. Drew Boas says, can I expect the goods by June? Yeah, June in uh 2028, bro. <laughs> no, the goal, the goal, we we basically everything's done. So it all depends on the kind of printer. My guess is most likely July. If you want the honor, you probably the reality is probably July. But we're gonna try and we're gonna try and get for June because everything's done. It just depends on the printer we use. Any What's your standard price on the gold? Um, standard price on the gold is generally four hundred to five hundred. So the the current golds that we have on this Kickstarter is a massive discount, especially the Tahani bundles and other bundles as well. The golds are a massive discount. Um, so uh, Mike Davis says we're 45 grand. Wait, what? Look at that. 45 grand, 286 backers. We're 14 away, guys. 14 away. Come and get all of your goodies. 14 backers to go. Anybody want to get these Tahani signature editions? They're pretty wild. All right. We're going to pop those away. No one wants to do so. Everyone just wants the girls. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know what it is you know it's a whole thing i guess all right i do have speaking of girls i can do three people can claim this tahani signature of mother's hands the yellow trade dress edition i will do this as an additional 40 dollars. that's a nice price Tahani Far, three people can claim this edition for forty dollars signed by Tahani. If anybody wants that, three people can claim that edition right there. Hey, General Slayer, how you doing, sweetheart? On IG, we're on the Kickstarter right now. Coming over to Kickstarter and get all your extra free stuff to be a day one backer. Even if you back the early, the lowest thing, lowest print thing, you will get. This edition for free, the Rue Homage as a gift. It's lovely to see you too. We're also on uh, Stranger Con is on our YouTube stream right now. We're on. We're going to be on for another half an hour. That's it. So if you want to come and see us on Stranger Con, come on over. Our Kickstarter's live, and I'm going to give you gifts just for back in the Kickstarter, like the Wu Tang Homage. Come and get all the things right now on day one. Um, anybody else want to claim? These Tahani's right here, let me know. We have three of these. Fuck it. $30 final offer to Hani Signature. Lenita says, back at 288, took me forever to pick add-ons, but anything for strangers, you got, you're amazing. 
Love to you, darling. Love to the family, too. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that so much. 14 backers away, guys. All right. This might be the one that you're waiting on. So uh, as far as I'm going to bring on Rick right now. Rick is, um, and Tony, you, you'd love to, um, Rick does our death dealers. So this is our legendary artist who does all of our super gnarly paintings. That's me. What's up, guys? Mike's working? Yeah, That's your mic's working fine, brother. Okay. Mike's working fine. And did you see this early? Look at this. I got this in the post today. Favorite? Wow. Nice. Isn't that cool? Who's cool. favorite? These got the indie comics dispatch's favorite. Nice, not, ju not just your favorite, bro. Oh, okay. How cool is that? Shit? Yeah, absolutely wild. Um, so, um, we got a whole bunch of your sets, Rick, where of course I put them down. Oh, there they are. Perfect. Whoop. Oh, no, that's eager sets. What the fuck? All right, let's start. I saw that bits. table. It, I don't know how you find anything on it, bro. I think, um, yeah, after, uh, I didn't, I was pretty good throughout the day. And then it just got nuts. It just got nutty, nutty. Um, so, all right. Neff just added something else. Thank you, darling. I, I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Good Lord. All right. So, all right. This is an opportunity to get Rick's, um, Daryl, can you see where the fuck I put Rick's, uh, stack down? Jesus, what the hell? All right. I'm losing my mind. No, not the death dealers. Oh, it's right here. Oh, I'm losing it. All right. Losing it. All right. Right in so, front of you. Right of in front of me. Okay. So here, guys, is... These are Rick's beautiful paintings. And then we're going we're gonna to get folks a chance to get one of Rick's originals right now. You know what? Let's get people hyped on, on Rick's stuff. Here we Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. This shit's crazy. Flip. All right. Just a bit of Yorick. Yorick action right here. Can't go wrong with a fire wizard. Right. Chief Iskanu from Morkamoa right here. Yorick is Morkamoa issue three because he hangs out with Morkamoa. Chief Iskanu right here. Someone give Seb a snack. Do I'm am I looking peaky, Celeste? Seb, you are a snack. Oh, oh points. Dude. The fuck, <laughs> Priscilla. Um, uh, there's a baby Niobe. More Kamo. Look at that, more Kamo right there. What the fuck, Yink. Eat like, Yink the stink with his. Making like heart magic and shit. Priscilla's like, hi, Rick. Oh, hey. Look at this one of Dura. What the fuck, dude? These are amazing, to be honest. Thank you. Vastar right here. You're right about that light. It's blowing everything out. Everything out, bro. Everything out. That's why I'm looking all pasty. You know, really, I'm just a, you know, a strong Haitian man. That's right. There you go. You've got uh, another one here of Paul Law, Dusu's dad. Look at this one. This is one of the um, amazing uh, Phoenix Niobes for Tales of Asunder. And here's one. Speaking of speaking of falling apart, there I am as the stranger. That's Brian, Get, getting a little gray there, huh? Bro, super Don't gray. gray uh, in the original comic. Yes, absolutely, Benjamin. Uh, Josh, if you could answer Benjamin in the chat, that would be fab. And then, all right, so, my God, all right. This is a Rick bundle, a Rick bundle. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of these Ricks. That's a lot of Rick. <laughs> That's a lot of Rick. Normally, this... Normally, Ricks are 20 bucks each. So normally, that would be 220 
right now, if you want all 11 of these ricks, I'll take $100 off and you can get all of these for $120. That which has got multiple variants in there. $120, guys. $120. That's right. Big Rick energy. Thank you, Misty. <laughs> 120 if you want to get all of these amazing rick homages so what's the difference between a bundle and a bindle don't bro right isn't that like an english word bindle i don't i don't, I don't know bro I, I i'm like la native now you know i don't know okay more kamoas i can't find the damn coffee mugs on the add-ons um, so Drew Boaz, who's on Instagram, Josh, um, I think, Drew, you just have to scroll down when you get to the add-on page, just scroll down to the coffee mugs. Um, so Josh, just double check to make sure they're in the, um, in the uh, add-on section. Um, but Drew, generally, they are all the way down. Scroll all the way down. All right. Anybody want to get any of those Rick bundles or in the – no, it's at the top. Okay. So, Drew, they're in the order of Thanks, Jay. cost. So they'll be closer to the top of the add-ons. So add-ons are in order of cost, okay? Um, and they're called Asunder Mugs. So if you're looking for Niobe, don't look for that. Look for Asunder Mugs. All right. Nobody wants your bundles, Rick, but everybody will want to get. That's why I have a bindle. <laughs> these uh death dealers what issue is that this is untamed killing floor issue one which features assessor brian cornish yeah what are you what's brian cornish claiming are you claiming the rick bundle or are you claiming these uh these death dealers because these will go real quick This is, uh, this is, um, I'll let two people claim this was 150. We'll, we'll do this for, um, I got to keep this at 150. Rick's bundle. Okay. Nice. So Brian Cornish, thank you, Brian Cornish. Please put $110 as an add on on your Kickstarter, which Thanks, is great Brian. because it's, it gets us even more over the, um, the, uh, the, 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 uh, we're just over 45,000. As long as it's comics, all right. One twenty. If you want to, yeah, we'll do. We'll do this for one twenty for the spot color. Limited to twenty five. Yeah, bringing death dealers out, Kevin. Oh, and guys, every, if you guys get any of the metals tonight, I'm going to give you the paper editions for free. Say, Seb, do you have any more ghost metals of the Death Dealer to show? Hey, Q, do we have any more ghost metal Death Dealers? I've got the other versions. Just let me know if you've got any ghosts. I've got the paper ghost, but uh, no, I haven't got the met uh, Somebody wants them potentially the ghost metal Death Dealer. All right. The silver metal Death Dealer, I will do for 100 Silver metal death dealer, I will do for a hundred. I like that one better. You like this one better? I like that one too, quite a bit. But there's one that I just love one metal yeah. version. That's all right. And uh, no, no, do we even have any of those left? The, uh, that, that one, one, only, uh, only the paper or oh, the CGC version of it. Okay, only two of those. I got one paper ghost here. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll let one person claim the gold. One person can claim this gold, and uh, I'll throw in the silver with it. This would be four hundred dollars. So, if anybody wants to claim the gold, but again, guys, don't forget you'd put it on the Kickstarter and then get all the extra free stuff you get all the extra free stuff so you got the gold there right there
but this is the and we do have one ghost paper edition here the ghost edition so this is the one that rick's been uh, waiting on these are going to have to go for i think 500 limited to 10 we got uh i can only do one of these here it is of that red version yeah the blood red one is crazy and if you get the glasses are <laughs> <Seb's wearing. laughs> All right. Anybody want to claim any of these additions? Let me know. And you can add the stuff to your pledges. We hardly have any of these additions left. I'm just letting you know. There's hardly any of these left. They're quite legendary. Frazetta. And of course, Rick has a Frazetta Conan the Barbarian homage on the Kickstarter. How much is the red one? The red paper edition. This was a New York Comic Con exclusive for $50. I will do this red version paper edition for you tonight for 40 for 40 But the red metal is 500 It's such a low print run on this. It's a print run of 10 Do you ever reprint? So like what? what would you ever reprint those or would that just like never again yeah. can yeah so this is it if you have this one you have it i mean creator copies yeah because we can hold on for a few creator copies i could you know we need to give you your creator copies sure for sure and then it's up to creators if they want to sell their creator copies okay. i do have one gold one gold metal brian cornish what did I say I'll do this for? 400, right? Yes. 400 for this gold. And I'll give, Brian, if you want this gold metal for 400, I will throw in the silver for free. 400 for the gold. I will throw in the silver for free. Have you shown the silver? I have, yeah. This is the one that, that uh, Tony likes. This one right here. I like that one as well. Yeah. Those are, I mean, I like them all. I'm a little I like the contrast of the colors. Yeah, it pops so nice in person. Oh, oh, I think Brian said he'll take it. Oh shit. Amazing. Thank thank you so much, Brian. Thank you, thank you. Thank if you, you Brian. can, Brian, then please put uh that dough on the uh Kickstarter. Put five the four hundred dollars on the Kickstarter and this gold and this silver is yours so huge thank you to you so thank you so very much i appreciate that big time big time big time one next to each portrait brian you got one for each portrait now rick do you ever go to the comic cons to like i do sign? yeah i do i mean actually well i guess my first one was last year actually really wasn't it the first one i went to the con, bro. it's coming up this weekend yeah. if you want to come oh look at that this weekend is in next weekend right um Next weekend, yeah. Because I thought, you know what? Let's launch a Kickstarter, you know, right before a convention. It's just chill. Right. Let's just, it'll be easy. Don't worry about it. Thank but you very much, Brian. The Cornish is a legend. Thank you so much. Now, while we've got Rick here. See that, Rick? See what I did there? Ah, uh, nice. Not Rick on. Stop. Um, oh Doesn't he get killed? Isn't he the one who gets killed? Oh, oh yeah, bro. He gets an arrow, bro. Beautifully, it's epic. Um, he gets he gets pegged. No, pegging is different, bro. No, he gets hobbled, dude. Not pegged. There's a huge difference. <laughs> the the innocent soul that 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 is. The, well, the once and future Ginger King. Look at that. The Cornish is a legends. We're over 45k cruising to uh one fit. Okay. okay, guys. If you want, and then they also get the paper editions. Um, if you guys want to get the paper editions right now, the color you want to add on, add on 30 for the color, 
there were add-on, I tell you what, add-on 20 for the color paper and 40 for the spot color, and I'll throw in the color as a gift. So $40 gets both. Good night, Drew. Sleep well, bro. Thank you, thank you, bro. Will you sign sign the Kickstarter stuff like you always do at cons? Yeah, Shay, absolutely. We will do uh, signature options at the end of the Kickstarter. 100%. 100%. So anybody else want to claim some of these additions right here? Let me know. Um, and uh, we will do this now. Here we go, guys. So... While I have Rick here, I want to offer a amazing. Oh, oh that's awesome, Dan. Thank, thank you. All right, we're going to do an auction. I got something I want to. I, I got. I got something I want to auction. Is this about pegging again? <laughs> well, I'm already on here. <laughs> can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, yeah you're, I can hear you still, even with the, the mic, with the mute. All right. I've got something really special that Rick drew, and it's stunning. i got to just share with you guys an opportunity to get a Rick original, a Rick original. And um, we've got 10 minutes to get 13 backers. What are people doing? They're going out on Saturday? They should be right here. Trying to get, trying to help you guys get the 300 backers. All right. Quickly, guys, create in the chat 13 more accounts. Big brain right there. Right. Thir quickly in the chat, create 13 more accounts and get like a $5 digital reward. Right. How get that and we'll figure out some really cool exclusive for everybody to get like pretty epic um neff says all i got is 30 left all right i i'll i'll figure out something for 30 in the next uh 10 minutes and don't forget neff the kickstarter lasts all um the entire uh, next 30 days as well so all right here we go we are going to do an original by Rick that he did, which is, I think, absolutely fucking beautiful. Um, look at that super mohawk Gallum Ren Niobe joint right there. You know, I don't know if I maybe I should turn this down on the light. Maybe just yeah, he's blowing it out big time. It out, isn't it? So yeah. what I do, Steph, is my like I'm well lit, but my ring light is facing the other direction. And I just lean it back so it faces kind of like the ceiling. Oh, is it is it behind you still or in front? No, it's it's right. It's like three in feet front in front of me, but facing yeah. the other direction and pointed up. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Get that soft bounce light. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Never would have fucking occurred to me. Um, I'll tell you after the stream, but <laughs> no, that's fine. All right. Okay, let's just bring that up on the on the upright. Okay, there we go, folks. Yeah, I'm a tech god, you know. Look, guys, a story about a man stuck in purgatory. Um, all right, there you go. It's still I'm still facing. I should face it the other way, shouldn't I? I'm gonna I'm gonna just do everything that um, everything that Tony tells me to do. There we go. All right, that's much better. Thank you. Um, I've got, I've got, I've got, uh, yes, just fail. All right. We are going to do a starting line bid on this beautiful pencil edition for $80, which is a freaking, it is ridiculous because this is uh, um, well worth more than that. $80 starting line for the original pencils by Mr. Richard Thornsberry right here. $80 oh, Brian Cornish. Oh, Boom. Misty. Oh. Misty's got to beat Brian Cornish's 80. Yeah, this one's crazy, guys. And trust me, it's a lot better in person. 
All right. Gotta gotta love that light. Yeah, the lighting is crazy. On Instagram, it's crazy. Um, someone says on Instagram, do you have any Nabi Shears Death Biggie Metal? I do, Ed Double. I do indeed. Oh, I can't wait to see that, Mike. That'll be awesome. Ed Double, hang tight while I do the um, do the auction right here on YouTube. Um, let me see if I can do this. Darren, can you give me a favor? Can you grab me the Biggie? Me uh, oh, here we go. Can you give me, uh, grab me Biggie on oh, Darren's drawing? He's not listening. Oh, um, can you snag me uh, Biggie Metals? Yeah, this is a great one. A hundred bucks. Biggie metals. Biggie metals, yes. Oh, the Ed Double. The there. Yeah, they're right. They're right there. It's just I'm on the um what's up everybody? Come over to StrangerCon. We're still 13 backers away from 300 backers, folks. 13 backers away from 300 backers. Thank you. Silver and gold. Silver and gold. Uh, Ed Double, just so you can see it. There you go. Silver and gold, biggie metals. Silver and gold, biggie metals. All right. 120 is the auction price. <laughs> Misty wants it. I know she does. The I'm not even touching that. <laughs> Just make it all the worse. Don't touch it. Don't touch. It's getting out of hand. Um, Mike Davis sent on Instagram. What is that? Who sent what on Mike Davis on Instagram? Um, He's sending me photos of his 9.8 death dealer. Oh, oh gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. Oh, shit. Misty's. There we go. Come in. I, I can't say anything now. It's just uh, Josh is in the chat, uh, and then it's uh, up for uh, Quincy to get into the chat too. Oh, I'm fingering this as much as possible. <laughs> I better get off this uh, stream real quick. Hey, when you're done with that, I got an option to do. <laughs> <laughs> So let's just place five dollars under her name. Hey, that's awesome. We're 12 away. See, Celeste knows. Guys, Celeste is onto something here. Everyone get another account. Five dollars. Five dollars, another account, and uh charge towards the 300 uh the backers. We're 12 away. You guys got this. We are 12 away. Amazing day. All right. So we are going to do a bit of a countdown here. We're at 140. Yeah, I should post the link again. Thank you. I keep forgetting. We're 11 away now, guys. 11 away. It is. Have you ever <laughs> been in the room with Seb? It's pretty dirty. Yeah, actually, when I walked over there to get the medals, I smelled taco seasoning. What the fuck? All right. I bow to Misty. Congratulations to Misty. Oh, that's so nice of you, Brian. Congratulations to Misty. You win this Congrats, amazing Misty. one right here. It's stunning. It's absolutely beautiful. I've got two other Rick originals, but I feel if I don't get a Daryl May auction going, yeah. he's this gonna riot. Yeah, it'll be quick. I have a <laughs> so Misty, all you gotta do, my love, is put 140 extra on the Kickstarter. Congratulations. Thank you so very much. I appreciate that big time, big time. Thank you so very much. We um, are going to also bring on uh, uh, Josh, like now too. Blip, there's Josh. And um, 
We're going to uh, queue if you want to join in, bro. And uh, we're going to basically make Daryl big. All right, you ready for this? Um, yeah, go for it, bro. Starting bid. This is going to be a fury. Oh, this is only going to last for 60 seconds. The claim is for $60. Or not the claim, but the bid is for starting at 60 And it'll go from there. But let's do a 60-second timer. Here we go. Claim for the set joint. Is that me? Yeah. <laughs> the dwarf. Yeah, the dwarf. <laughs> 60 bucks. 60 bucks for me as a dwarf. <laughs> Brian wants it for a hundred. Brian wants me as a dwarf for a hundred dollars. Holy shit. That's hilarious. What did I say? What what do you have? It says claim for the Seb joint on the thing. Oh my god. Oh, the Bryans are duking it out. Oh, my God. That shit is crazy. That shit is hilarious. Look at your mustache. Dude, yeah, I, I can see I've got grays now. <laughs> You've had... like, I love how big the pro is. It's so good. Um, Fat T is going to go and add another $5 and do another... Um, just so we can be 10 away. I love it. Thank you, Fat. I appreciate that. I am a. I, I backed on a second count and added $100 to Silver D&D. Oh my God. That's so. That's amazing. Holy shit. We're nine backers away from 300. Kevin, what's, uh, what's that account under? What name? So, Kevin, just let us know what is your second account name so we can make sure you get. That uh, silver D and D. Thank you so much. One fifty for Brian Weiss. Good lord, they're duking it out. I love it. Mike Davis had another account too. You guys are freaking legends. Pulling you guys through. Are Look at that. Stranger <laughs> family is just absolutely. They're just gems. We should have ten thousand. What is Seb saying? So Celeste, I'm saying. Claim for what is it again, Daryl? The Seb joint. <laughs> Claim oh, for the Seb joint. Neff is making another count. Eight to go. Brian Cornish, 160. Eight claims to go. Holy shit. Crazy. You guys are phenomenal people. Eight claims to go. Let's go. This is crazy, crazy, crazy. I can't seem to get that. Uh, so Demon Night Witch, the Akira code, that one is for the um, the one with the magic lettering on. The tra The other version is, Josh, can you write down? Uh, yeah, um, so there's, there's two. There's one for people who didn't back it that's free, and then there's the set for the people who did back it. So the TYCS is for the set of, the spirit rune trade dress and the virgin that if you backed it you can go get with the tycs if you didn't back it which you did then you would use the other one but so most likely you're on the virgin listing using the code for the set so yeah so basically you get to the very end right josh at the very very end you'll yeah essentially when you okay. get to check out there'll be a coupon when you um, get to the checkout there'll be a coupon that'll say it for you basically right josh no it, it won't be automatic you have to put it in but there'll be a coupon field where you type that in there'll be a coupon field where they type it in okay all right congratulations to brian weiss yes yeah. mister you add 140 to your pledge you could also just not add 140. You could just also get a whole bunch of other things. So you could just add 140 or you could just claim other things um, on there. So just, uh, yeah, that's that's what you do. Congratulations to Brian White. Thank you so much. Congrats, Brian. For the Seb joint. What? Thank you, Rick. That's amazing. And then because Rick is on here, 
This is also one of the uh, cooler ones that he's done. Check this shit out. <coughs> We're just going to keep doing some originals right here. Here's the next one. Congratulations to Brian Weiss. Thank you so very much. You got the Savage Untamed one right here. It's amazing. Let's do a starting line. A starting line on this one of... Let's do a starting line on this on uh, of 60 as well. Let's just start low on these starting lines. Starting line 60. Brian Cornish said, fuck it. He wants it. $200. All right. <laughs> Brian's not playing around. It's freaking amazing. Oops. Starting line. To hell with the starting line. Brian Cornish is coming in right off the bat. $200 on this right here. <laughs> All right. If anybody wants to challenge this, we'll give you guys 30 seconds <coughs> to challenge this. <laughs> and that's a great idea. If you guys are claiming things, make a separate account, Misty, and for the 140 and get 140 worths of stuff so we know it. And then that way, uh, we're even closer to the 300 backer mark. All right. So this goes to Brian Cornish. Congratulations, Brian Cornish. Congrats. Josh, you make a note of this one, bro? Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Congratulations to you on that. And uh, I've got one last one I'm going to do. One last one I'm going to do of uh, by uh, Rick as well. Right here. It is light, uh, but... The light sucks, but it's so good. There you go. Look at that. It's basically very similar in, in vibe, but the mood on this Niobe piece is spectacular. It definitely feels like a set with the other. It, it definitely feels like a set. All right. We will do starting line on this. The pencil on, the pencil on this is honestly phenomenal. The expression in here is amazing. <laughs> It really so is. Sick, I don't know if it's doing it for everyone because you're uh, pixelating. And so like you bring it closer and it just goes. Brrr, and yeah. Brrr, like, and then back there, you can't see it because of contrast. But let's do starting line on this. Well, let's give Brian Cornish the opportunity if he wants to get this one as a set. Um, Brian Cornish has spent an absolute shitload of dough. OK, there it is. He's dropping. What the fuck? Brian Cornish is dropping $200 again. Uh, done to Brian Cornish. Thank you so very much. Um, and then, Brian, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you this also as a gift, the Daryl May Untamed Niobe as well, because you just spent an absolute shitload of money. This is going to go for you as well. So um, uh, congratulations to the, the Cornishes, to Brian Weiss, all these originals you've been getting. Uh, so that's basically, um, on my live video ended on my phone. It's like a uh, discard video. It's over me. Um, the phone died. Okay, so that's going to go to you as well. So if you guys pop all those extra amounts, please, on the Kickstarter through new accounts as well. Um, that would be fab. And um, we have... We are six backers away. Oh, my God. Six backers away. It's probably you guys on separate accounts. Um, I appreciate you guys. Daryl, you can go up there and back it up, too. Daryl, have you backed it? Yeah, that's worth all. 
<laughs> for a dollar, oh, good man. All right, Brian, uh, Rick, have you backed it? I was just about to because I forgot about it. Remember, I was like, did I miss it when you called me the other day? All right, so um, basically, shout out to Nate Nelson for like blasting us all over the internet today, by the way. Oh, for sure. Nate Nelson, thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Uh, Q, can you back it for a dollar? Because he's like, I, I'm not doing that shit. Oh, shit. 300 backers, guys. You know, I should. If I'm encouraging this shit, it means I got to give more shit away. I'm like, you know what, guys? Thank you so much. It's been a great evening. Uh, I'm going to, you know, go and get some pub food. Six more backers away. All right. Six more backers away. Yeah, we're going to the pub. Rick, are you gonna, do you want to come back to the pub or now? You're like, fuck the pub. Oh, not tonight. That's oh, a Caroline. When Daryl's getting hit on by chicks, what does Daryl say? Not tonight. Not tonight. <laughs> I like my misery and my loneliness. Dude, with that, with that skullet, you soon won't even have to say that. You'll be Dude, fine. Quincy, look, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's not getting anywhere. Dude, this shit's gonna be fly by <laughs> Sharon says if Seb yells Quincy <laughs> he's stupid. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, it says there's six hundred backers. What did you oh, say? Oh wait, 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 maybe I'm looking at the wrong one. Let me yeah, you're looking at the old one. Yeah, I was like, wait a second. What the fuck? Yeah, I was like, ah, uh, my bad. I saw Fuso blasted on her Instagram today. She did. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, she forgot to hit collab last time she posted hit collab because then it could have actually come to our uh, bio. Yeah, yeah. which uh, is too bad. But um, it's great that she posted it though. Yeah. You know, over forty six. Over forty six. The best first day we ever did at the end of the evening was leaving this at 48. So th you, that's when everyone had COVID money. You know, well, there's extra kind of things that were coming in. Um, so huge thank you to you guys. This is the second best day we've ever had. And it's uh, phenomenal. No What's that? COVID money and no place to go. Yeah, well, that's true. Exactly, exactly. Um, um, so six backers away. So yeah, make those extra accounts. Keep spreading the word. Um, I wonder if I can, <coughs> if this plug thing works in now. Does the money of the people that purchase different products on the live go towards your Kickstarter campaign? So um, the folks that, Mark, the ones that people were claiming, what I was asking them to do is actually put the money on the Kickstarter. Um, so it gave folks an opportunity to get more things, right? So I'm like, if you claim it for four hundred dollars, go and get four hundred dollars. <laughs> Dan, <laughs> if go and spend money on the Kickstarter, basically cr making the, your claims at that point becoming free. So it allows you to get more. If you're claiming an item, let's say for a hundred dollars, you're going to spend there for an extra hundred dollars on the Kickstarter, unlike a usual claim where I just do an invoice. And then therefore you get what you've claimed for free. So um, no, the only thing you can't do is your Tahani auction, Brian, unfortunately, because uh, that is Tahani's money. It's the only one. Oh yeah, for sure. Mark, what I do is not, is probably a bit different to other people. Um, so that's not a normal Kickstarter thing. I just um, basically trying to hook people up as much as possible. Three to go, three to go, four to go. Yeah. Um, we, just, we just lost a pledge. Well, we just lost one. No, we're three, we're three to go, and then maybe... Someone just undid their pledge so we can't go leave. <laughs> <laughs> three to go. That's crazy. I love it. Are all these you guys making these extra accounts? Like... <laughs> I have a feeling Tony just is like like holding at two ninety nine. So he could be the three hundred. Yeah, I've got like a, a Carol did another one for one dollar. Rick for a dollar. Neff, my girl, did one for thirty one. Joe, another five a joint. 
Um, if if Quincy comes on for a dollar, we're two, we're one away. <laughs> I uh, I remember one year I tried to be the first backer. Did you? And I missed it by like three. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! You guys are epic, epic, epic. I so so down for Neff to be on here. That's so fucking cool. But I should I do my Seb Dwarf claim? Yes, Brian. Basically, every claim put on the Kickstarter, apart from the um, Tahani one that where she came on earlier. Mandy, thank you so much, love. I appreciate it. It's been a wild day. My goodness, what a day! Good next, lord. Next Kickstarter um if you're gonna if you're gonna do this kind of thing i think there's, there's a i think i have a more efficient way of handling it it'll make it easier on okay. them and on us. so because like if I they think... if they just so put we... the money in the um instead of going and like claiming add-ons they just put it in as extra money and then it's easier for us to go and look and see if it's been done and then when they get there at the end they get to spend that money anyway oh uh, you're they right to buy it to whatever add -ons I, didn't they think, want. I didn't think of that you're right and then they don't have to sit there in the middle of the live going "Shit, what am i gonna add you know they just go and like okay forty dollars okay i'll take that to twenty dollars right. this stuff later okay okay you're so thank you. I appreciate that. It's so cool. So super cool. Um, and I believe was that was that Q? So basically, we have to get one more person before uh, Tony. I think wants to be cheeky. Yeah, that was Q. I love to see see the series of like blip blip blip. That's so fucking cool. Um, what's cool is my perception. I better it's not spend all my about you, Daryl. It's not all about you. I can I was back to 70. Shutter Duck, I better spend uh, my credit the last Kickstarter. Which last one? Did we? Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> Daryl no, just, just took his pledge away. We did. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, oh that's no. cool. <laughs> yeah. That's a giant. Yeah, it's a biggie, too. Oh, my God. I love it. It's fucking epic. Robert Galvin, that's um, wait, what the what? That's my man G Man who was uh, gonna come on his live earlier. He's been on all day. I wonder if he's maybe he's changing his. Yeah, usually what happens is people are just. Mm hmm. He's on, he's on live yeah, that's Robert Galvin. So hopefully, um, Hopefully he re-pledges or something else because uh, he was on earlier for some. All right. 299. 299. 299, Tony. 299. <laughs> Is T-Rip going to make an appearance? Yeah, I would. Uh, I got to get Sam to bring me my wallet. Though. 301. 301. Okay, that wasn't uh, Robert Galvin repledging. Was that you, Tony, for the the three hundred? Tony got three hundred. Yes, I can't even pledge right now. Wait, Tony got three hundred, and then Carolyn D came in with a one dollar. Whoa, shit! There it is. Oh my god! All right, so three hundred two. You might wake up tomorrow morning over fifty k. I I can dream, bro. Oh my god. Stephen Kwok with a, a giant pledge just was like, that dude canceled. I'm coming on big. Thank you so much, uh, Stephen. I appreciate you. Shut a, shut a duck with the, with, the, with the big pledge. That's awesome. Thank you so very much. Hey, we, only need, 30, we only need $3,200 more to get the metal prints. Just saying. If, if it's by, um, by what, the time we're... <laughs> by, the time by the time we, we sign off. But yeah, that but yeah, I'm signing off. Thirty-two hundred bucks. Um, I I would love to, but uh, it is pub. It is pub time. Um, <coughs> yeah, yeah so, Doug, thank you so thank you so much. You guys are amazing. Um, 
Uh, I don't even know what the fuck exclusive we're gonna throw in um, for the uh, for the extra. Um, let me let me let me me and Josh uh, muse on that for the extra. What we're gonna throw in? Oh, maybe it's. Want to do it? Harold does a free sketch for all three hundred and two people. <laughs> Honestly, if this Kickstarter gets to 100,000, I will do a, a nice remark on every for every backer. What did you say? If we get over um, 100,000 on this Kickstarter, I'll do a remark for every single backer. That's awesome. You know what I mean? A nice remark, like a Niobe in the wind. Okay. Not like those usual ones? What? All your remarks are nice. <laughs> Sometimes it's like a little quick 30 second yink. I did one of those for hey, months. Hey, don't bad math yink. Yink looks good all the time. Yink is, great. Yink is life. Look at my new yink. Right. <laughs> yink is life. Show them, one, show them one more time my yink. One more time your yink. What? <laughs> Done. We're going to need bathrobes of this ASAP. Oh, oh. My God. I want a bathrobe of yank. Oh, <laughs> that's yeah. kind of that's kind of cool. <laughs> Oh my so god. It's like bathrobes, but it's like a hood. But then it's just like a towel with the hood. Oh, yeah, wow. it's like the a ring light. <laughs> so okay. uh, but I want them for adult men. We should do that. <laughs> so, What'd you say, Josh? We should do we should do that with Daryl one and glow in the dark. A yin glow in the dark one. Yeah, that would be That's pretty red too. Glow in the dark. Blue that's awesome. that's brilliant that's really brilliant i love that idea that's a great idea uh, josh what i think um in the morning i know you uh, on the collapse ticket i think yeah. basically um what we need to do is just kind of where the where the kickstart where the backers are saying today where to find stuff just those big banner separators yeah. let's say covers add-ons you know rewards and add-ons just things that just separate and that's it apart from that yeah just just pass the fuck out you know but i think those are the things that we'll need and then i had an email bro um and i wonder if this is what some of the problems were hey d can you ch charge this while we're just chatting for five minutes again it's just not working away d uh, oh, yeah, okay no worries no worries um you're all good is um what's going to say oh, i'm spacing yeah, while i was just he said he had Oh, yes, you thank you. An email from Penelope, one of our OG backers. She said the backer kit blast link for Kickstarter that we did um, this morning uh, or the other day that she got uh, was broken. So um, I might have sent one, a shortened one by mistake or something, but she said it didn't work and I just sent an updated one. Um, oh, so wait, uh, the one she got the other day or the one I sent today? today I don't know. Because Backer Kit has like an automated "we're live" launch email, and I just hit that. Oh, so, you know, it should have just connected because they have our they're connected to our page, so it should have gone to our page. Right. So I guess yeah, ask her for more details. But right, I will. Okay, I'll I'll message her. That, that should have. I mean, they should have been able to find our page regardless. <laughs> They've sure, gotten, sure, they've sure. gotten enough backer kit emails with links to it and everything, and they know where Kickstarter is, obviously, because they're all Kickstarter backers. So they can just go there and Google Niobe and find it. Right, 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 right. Um, let's see, one second. Let me just do this. Um, Is that is that Seb just yeah. destroying his keyboard? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like what did the keyboard do to you, dude? Like <laughs> I thought Daryl was literally drumming on the, the tabletop for a second. Daryl's doing something he wants to share you, the guys, in, the, in, a, in, in two secs. Mm. 
<laughs> I just gotta use my new computer. <laughs> December. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You guys can talk without me. Oh. Right. Quincy, what are you doing? <laughs> Is Quincy not on mic? I ruined it. But it's one of those things where Quincy will take it out of the trash and then you guys will get mad at me if I don't really show it to you. <laughs> no, I'm just doing uh, uh, inventory and shit, bro. All the fun stuff. All the fun stuff, bro. Thank you, Ness. I appreciate you, darling. All right. So, yeah, Quincy shipped out a whole bunch of stuff today. Um, and uh, so Darren wants to show one thing he's doing, and then we'll go and get pub food. Oh, my God. You guys are, have been absolutely phenomenal. You guys have stuck it out with me all day. Good Lord. It's um, my drum solo. Have we had anyone on the stream with you guys all day? Yeah, just, uh, Josh has been on the stream the whole day, but in the, in the background. Josh doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> you mean like uh, Tahani was on for quite some time? She was. She really. So it was I, really, I just went really fan wise if they were watching all day. Because I'm always. Oh, fan wise. Yeah. yeah, who's been on all day? Who is me? Brian Weiss has been on the entire yeah, time. Crazy. I love that. But David, I remember you in the beginning, and David, I was um, Kevin's been on most of the day. I met David, I met for the first time um, on a stream on the Madhouse stream, I believe, uh, a couple of days ago, just popping in, and then uh, came on. Oh, nice convert, Shutter Duck. Uh, your I think it's your, in your email confirmation. Uh, I just want to hear. Yeah, I well, I have a respiratory infection. <laughs> Yeah, but it makes your voice sound really sexy. So don't, don't, don't stop having one. <laughs> My favorite pub food, darling, is um, I, I would say bangers and mash or shepherd's pie. Bangers and mash or shepherd's pie. Um, yeah, you guys are amazing. Hydrate and rest. Yes, a hundred percent. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, I haven't been able to rest for the last week. So. Yeah, it's been uh, brutal for Josh. Josh, you will like. I did a post on Instagram which uh, I reference you. You will uh, find it funny. Hmm. <laughs> that sounds ominous. Garbage. Yeah, it does. No. First plane for twenty dollars. Okay. Oh my God! I tell you what, we can do is a pick your number from one to a hundred for it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So here we go, guys. And then Josh, if you can roll the dice, I don't have my dice handy. Sure. I have no idea who they are. Pick your number from one to a hundred. The winner tonight is gonna get this trash by Daryl. Yeah, everybody just put your numbers in and I'll roll it live. All right. Oh, no. What is Daryl doing? Oh no. <laughs> I don't know, but it's it looks like your person is a good thing the mic isn't on. No, no Daryl. What is it? No. <laughs> no, remove Daryl. <laughs> was that a yank? I think that was I love how I just a stranger across my face. No. <laughs> no. No, we're gonna give something else. That's no, don't even show that shit. All right. There's there's Tony all big. <laughs> And what do you got for us, Tony? All right, I tell you what we'll do. Let's do, let's do that was that was terrible. Let's do let's do something else. Let's do something cool. Um, let's do something really cool. Yeah, someone earned it. Okay, I want to do something special for you guys. Um, no, Does everybody have. 
Yeah, keep. Yeah, the numbers are fine. Uh, and hey, you can only pick one, David. Oh yeah, the way the stream works, guys, you can only pick one. Only pick one. I only pick the number one. Uh, that should be what, that. That should be the punishment when someone tries to pick like four or five numbers. You can only pick one, so you get number one. Mm, there you go. Oh, you know what it'll be? It will be the gift from Laura from earlier. Here we go. Yes, the gift from Laura earlier. This is a big deal, guys. It is the. Emerald City Comic Con exclusive signed by David Mack. There you go. Oh, geez. Emerald City Comic Con exclusive signed by David Mack. That's a great end of day. There you go. That's that's the move. End of day. This is my gift to you guys. Pick a number from one to one hundred. The winner will get the wet signature on the Emerald City Comic Con signed by David Mack. There it is. All right. Nope. If you pick multiple numbers, I'm going with the last number. So, Wolverado, you're 78. And <laughs> David, you're 12, looks like. All right. Give me a number from 1 to 100. It's 30. <laughs> that is the most... Unorganic. <laughs> 30. Pretty sure I don't have dice nice on me, so it works. It's Let's 30. See. That's what it is. Benjamin is, yeah. at, Benjamin is at 36. That's the closest I've seen so far. Evelyn is, is 33. 33 for Evelyn. Um, it looks like we have a tie between Shay and Evelyn. At three off. All right, fuck it. Shay and Evelyn are gonna get one each because I got another one in the in the, that we took. So cool. yeah, that's how we roll at Stranger Comics. We're just giving super expensive, fucking epically rare, difficult to get David Max signatures for free for you guys. So congrats to Evelyn, who I adore, and Benjamin and um, Shay, who I'm who I adore as well. So all we need from you guys is make sure you give us your backer number and all your thingies. And this, it goes to both <laughs> Evelyn and to Shay. Congrats, congrats, congrats. Love and appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. We uh, we love you guys. You're amazing. Oh, yeah. um, you guys are phenomenal people. Um, thank you so very much for everything. Uh, what a wild and woolly day. My goodness gracious. Ooh, fuck. 29 more days mm -hmm. we'll see you tomorrow <laughs> oh my what goodness did we, what did we actually end up at let's see where we're at here as we sign off 46,887 not bad is that a new days. record and we are still number one on the favorites on the front page. Oh, really? On Kickstarter? Yeah. I oh, shit. said that a couple times earlier. Did you? I missed it. That's, that's amazing. I, I screenshotted it too, so that we have it if we want to. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Fresh favorites, yeah. number one. And did you do a little like strip, like uh, funded in 30, under yeah. in 50? Oh, amazing, amazing, yeah. amazing. Amazing. Can you, can you All make right. Josh strip for that stuff? That's just Yeah, yeah, but dude. Um, we're on, we're not on Instagram, bro. I can't be too crazy. You know, oh, really? I didn't realize that the two, the two views will shut, shut us down. Oh, I forgot. It's big. Brother. The last stranger con canceled my entire event at <laughs> the very end. And I had meetings with, I'd like Rodney Barnes. I had like big name people on and, um, yeah, it's, uh, crazy. Um, so, uh, yeah, we, um, we've been very, that's why I haven't played any music today. You know, I haven't done any of that stuff because I'm like, I don't want to risk anything. Um, so, yeah. So, Wolverado, good night, guys. Good night, Belixar. Good night, everybody. Uh, yes, it was things because of a oh, Seb. Yeah. Did you make that bit.ly link? 
More Bitly Link. And the I just noticed the Bitly Link in the in the scroll. I I grabbed it from the one that you sent me. Is it is it the wrong one? I I don't remember making a Bitly. Daryl asked me earlier if we had a Bitly Link. I was like, no. Yeah, you gave, yeah, you made it for us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so yes I'll, I'll send it to you yes josh made one and he made when he made the link tree 100 percent. yeah guys also you can grab the banner on my facebook page and just put it in your facebook banner right um yeah good night everybody in the chat we love and appreciate you guys so very much uh you guys are happy everyone. amazing Love and appreciate you, Rick. See you at the pub in spirit. That's right. <laughs> and uh, we miss you. well, I'm I'm around. You're back from all the cons. We can get together again weekly like we usually do, and I miss you all as well. But I miss totally I think uh, Fat T-shirt Guitar Master is buffered because he left to go start another account. <laughs> <laughs> nice. How many accounts does he have in that T-shirt? Sorry, bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> stupid that's so what happens when you're a dad yeah All my right. goodness love you guys very much you guys have a beautiful it's evening just... um josh i just came up with you in the morning if we need to get another All blast right. out um you know and um i'll be on social media blast and, and i'll be on instagram tomorrow night uh, trying to do to the, the the drive so good night everybody peace out everybody Sweet dreams, much love. Good night, everybody. Bye, bye, bye. Good night, good night, good night. Crazy's like, fuck it. <laughs>